Boom. I think we're live. And let's uh let's get everything up and running. We also need Cam to be up and running. We want NVIDIA broadcast. Boom. <clears throat> Excuse me. We are live, my friends. Oh, shoot. Knocking over. Knocking over coffee mugs here. We're in town. Good to go. Good to go. Let's make some announcements, fellas. But before we make an announcement, let's just uh, briefly run around here and see what we can see. huh? 64 frames per second. Oh, look at this. I'm not even sure how I got here, honestly. Well, you're the one who she told me all about it. It was a very brave thing you did. Yes, it was a very brave thing. So is your hair. Your, uh, your woke DEI ESG lopsided asymmetrical hair. With a big giant uh, douche swoosh going down the side. Your debt. Well, Rico's as good as my... Now, tell me. Are you registered with a, perhaps you <clears> am I registered with a guild? Well, now, I have no idea. I just started, man. How do you expect me to know this kind of stuff? I am a fighter myself. Ask about fighters. I am a fighter myself. I am a fighter myself. Oh, okay. And should there come a time when uh, you impress me with your prowess, I might be willing decline. to impart unto you some of what I know. Oh. Very well, I, I guess I have to decline the offer because he's not going to offer it to me. Ray, I'm not declining. He's declining me. He's declining me. I tried to take it, but, uh, yeah. They said uh, no go. All righty. Posting to Twitter and to... Mines. <clears throat> <clears throat> Error. You need to change the current resolution. What? I haven't changed anything. My live stream. So, is YouTube being garbage again? Is this YouTube being garbage? Uh, we'll ignore that for now. Oh, no. Error. You need to change the video resolution. The current resolution is... Stream health. Error. You need The expected video resolution is 1920 by 1080. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, what what aspect of OBS or YouTube crapped itself today? We'll have to take a look and see because uh, I've never had an issue with this before. Uh, let's go ahead and stop the stream and and, and relaunch. <clears throat> All right. Let's see how this one works. Uh, we had to relaunch real quick, briefly. There was an issue with uh, YouTube uh, crapping itself. Organized storage with rest. So the, the only way to rest is to pay money? Because that sucks. Let's dump all this junk because... Uh, oh, you have to select an amount. No, I don't want to jump dump that. Oh, I'll, I'll get that back. I'll get that back. Okay, now let's withdraw. Although, deposit and withdraw should all together be simply one menu, not two separate menus. Where is Where are the healing potions? Did I not deposit them? Oh, I didn't. Okay, I wisely did not deposit. Can we combine anything together? Whoops. Oh, okay. Wow, all these items and I can't combine them with anything else? So many items and none can be combined. What a bummer. <clears throat> I think I need to recreate my Always character. I need to adjust my character because this game being uh, uh, corrupted by ESG DEI filth means that my male character accidentally ended up with a female voice because I forgot to check and make sure that my male character had a male voice. It didn't occur to me <clears throat> that the... Uh, that the TARDS at Capcom would, would simply default a male body to a female voice. That's just stupid. 
very dumb. Hail. <coughs> Excuse me. Moment to spare. I'd like a word. Isn't this the same dude that I already talked to? See, we're what say you? Would you be willing to help? Excellent. You're a good sort. I'll not soon forget this. Here's what I need from you. A bosk of saurians has made their nest. Oh, a bosk of saurians. The whole bosk or just half a bosk? Their proximity makes the villagers uneasy. Hmm. Makes sense. Makes sense. Okay. I'm going to go back to stream settings. Looks like everything's good, guys. Looks like we're up and rolling now. <clears throat> All right, so let's go uh let's go take care of them. Aid in driving. I've prepared some explosive casks and left them by the village entrance. Use them to send the Saurians scattering. Saurians are monsters of fearsome strength. It's okay. True. Explosive casks. explosive casks can't scatter. Left by the entrance. So the performance is okay. It's it's nothing great, to be honest, but it's not terrible. I'm not experiencing the horrible performance that some other people have. But on my system, Intel Core i7-12500K, uh, uh, RTX 3080, 32 gigabytes of RAM, all that jazz, I should have better performance than I do. Because we are sometimes dropping below 60. Let's go into system settings here. Go to the options. Display here is, is not listed properly. Uh, resolution should be in display, but it's not. It's in graphics quality or graphics, which not how you're supposed to do that, but whatever. Vertical synchronization, I've just left that off for now. Dynamic resolution, I've actually set to on. So that is a big factor here. Interesting that it has these two rendering modes, which uh, I'm not used to seeing. We'll set that image quality down a bit, and then I have ray tracing off, obviously, because ray tracing simply tanks your frame rate hard. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, and ray tracing is just never worth it. Make a few things shiny, lose half your frames, subsurface scattering. Hmm. So you can go through here and turn things on and off to get an idea of the processing load. But if I can motion quality, if I can figure out what is causing a lot of the... Yeah, see, that doesn't seem to affect the quality much regardless. So we'll just leave that there. Now this may... Oh, yeah. Uh, take a look at this. You can go way down. So we'll set that just to high. And... That doesn't seem to do... M oh, that does something. Resource intense affects quality. Hmm. Actually, I would like to reduce the effects because as cool as they look, I can tell you right now, seeing all the, the fire and everything, it blocks your view of the game and you can't tell what's going on. Like, I can't l see to block the enemy attacks <coughs> Excuse me, because of how awesome the fire effects look, you know? So, oh, hey, look at that. Dragon's Dogma 2 finished downloading to my Steam Deck. So, uh, yeah, that's a thing. Let's go see where these explosive barrels are, caskets. He said he put it near something or other, but I don't see any. And we're still dipping. So maybe the – I was getting better frame rate yesterday, but I was playing full screen and not streaming. All right, welcome, guys. Today's drink of choice is black coffee. I roasted the beans myself. If you've been with the channel for a minute, you know I've been uh, doing my own bean roasting, coffee bean roasting. I just spilled some on my leg, but that's fine. And yeah, we're getting uh, we're getting garbage performance in town, which a lot of people have already talked about. So that's what that is. Uh, do we see? Where are these explosive caskets? Caskets that explode. I don't see them. Do you see them? I don't see them. Who sees them? They're not back here. They're not over here. You'd think they'd be right here, because it looks like some have already exploded. Ah, Explosions. First and foremost, will you accompany me to the capital? My thanks. What? I'm already doing Are something else, bro. Part, or do you need some time to prepare? Very well. I, I, I need some time, man. I'm trying to find explosive caskets. Come on now. You got to give me a chance to, to find the stuff for the first quest. People just talk to me. They don't even give me a chance to talk to them. I will say also that this game needs an option to turn down the chattiness of NPCs 
NPCs are yak, 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 yakking away constantly all around you in town. And then your pawns have to comment on every little thing. Oh, look, is that a rock? Hey, look, over here, I found a snake. Oh, look, it's a blade of grass. Did you see this blade of grass? There's a blade of grass over here. Look at this. Oh, it's nighttime now. It's quite dark when it's night. There's no sun when it's night. Okay, thank you, pawns. Your useless comets are unnecessary. Can I turn them off, please? Let's see. Where did he put this stuff? By the village entrance. Okay. Well, let's let's go ahead and do this. I guess we need to get out of town and then go handle these uh, these guys. So let's go do that. Let's do that first. How's that sound? Time to get out of town and go find the explosive. We must leave anon. Very I need well. time, man. Leave me alone. Holy crap, dude. Every time I walk by, he's harassing me. That's harassment. I want to file a report. Are these the explosive casks? All right. Can I throw them from here? I don't think so, but we're going to try. Oh, it did work. Hmm. I imagine if we go down there to fight them, we're going to get our arses kicked. What do you guys think? Oh, he fell into the water. Wait, that instantly killed him? There's like some magic or, or demonic cursed power in the water that just kills stuff immediately, including you if you're not careful. Oh! Haha, <laughs> suckers. I will tell you one thing that's very annoying about this game. Look at the shadows. The shadows flicker like mad in this game. That was an issue in the first one. It looks like shite. I'm trying not to get flagged by YouTube here. Let's see what we can do about these shadows. Let's turn the cash off. Does that help? Come through not at all. If anything, it makes it worse. So cash goes back on. And then we might actually, maybe turning the shadow quality down. Well, no. See, shadows usually tank the frame rate, but let's try turning shadows to high and see what that does to the frames. All right, so they're not flickering real bad. So it looks like a, a quality issue, but at the same time, shadows usually hurt performance quite a bit, just in case you didn't know. If you, if you ever play on PC and you're getting bad performance, turn down the shadows. Uh, that, that helps a lot in most games. All right, where's this dude at? Yo, bruh. Oh, yo, DI uh, haircut, man. ESG haircut. To finish the job, I'd have you drop a jar of poison. With any luck, the Saurians will realize that they chose a jar of poison. I love it. All right, let's go ahead and uh, pour some more coffee. Can you guys see that? We'll see if you can see it. From the percolator. Got to keep it percolated. But pray, take care not to drop it in the river. Villagers use that water on a daily basis. Oh, dropping it in the water sure would be bad. Good. You'll find the jars of poison just outside the village. To Why doesn't he do it? Or to send those Saurians packing. Why okay, doesn't he do it? He could easily do this. So, so far, so far not really impressed. Performance isn't that great, even when it's lowering the resolution. Uh, is this the wrong way? So the performance is lackluster. Uh, if you turn the shadows down anything lower than high, it looks like crap. Didn't I just come from this way? Like, I just came from some direction where I was fighting those little Saurian dudes, and now I'm already turned around. Maybe it is through there. Whoa, look at that. So there's there's some platforming in this. Like, I caught on to the next ledge in an interesting way. That's okay. So it's got platforming to it. It has an element of platforming. I think what I'll need to do is, no, the other way. Okay, I'm just going the wrong way. Backing out of the map is weird. Large, small world. Hey, what's going on? My PC is a... Uh, let me make sure... 
uh, sometimes I feel like I'm reading off the uh, reading off the specs for my Intel processor wrong when I tell people. Let me make sure I'm getting this right here. Uh, a Core i7 11700K. Okay, so I have an 11th Gen Intel Core i7 11700K, a GTX 3080, 32 gigs of uh, system RAM. So I don't see as how, and I'm running everything on an SSD. So shouldn't be having any issues. Shouldn't be having any issues. Really, uh, it, it should be running fine. I can run every other current day uh, game just fine. Maybe this game was designed for a modern audience. <clears throat> Maybe it was, okay, go, go, okay. Le leave me alone. Shut up. Stop bothering me every time I walk by, dude. I don't care about you, man. That dude is so arrogant. Look at that. He even came all the way over here. He, all, he even came all the way over here where the quest is to, like, watch me do it. Why doesn't he just do it? All right. So am I supposed to throw it from here? Or am I supposed to carry it all the way? You know what? Huh. Am I wearing pants? No, I never wear pants. If I can help it, I'm never wearing pants. I am wearing shorts, though. I imagine that's what you meant, like pants and or shorts. Am I wearing something more than underwear? Yes. But I don't have a bra on, at least not today. Not today. What is that? Let's set this down gently and pick up our scrap iron and then pick this back. Oh, I love how you could pick it up while standing on it. That's a whole different ball game right there. So is the, is the pit down here? Now the question is, if I drop down, will it break the urn? No, not yet, not yet. Okay. Wait, was this it? Well together. Each of us is suited to a different task. Hmm. So long as we remember to keep to our assigned roles, uh, uh, maybe I shouldn't have come all the way down here like this. Throw, well, yeah, expert throw. I poisoned us, but it still worked. <laughs> you know what? Sometimes you gotta take one for the team, you know what I mean? You gotta take one for the team sometimes. Now how bad is this poison gonna be? Is it gonna kill us? You know, there are some RPGs where that poison, mm, you get poisoned in that RPG, you're dead. If you don't cure it, you're dead. I hope this isn't one of those games. Like, those, the, the, uh, the hardcore RPGs of the past, poison was basically a death sentence if you couldn't cure it. I need a better, I need a good pair of wireless headphones. I don't need a mic. Do you have a suggestion? If you do, please let me know. I would love to get a really good quality pair of wireless headphones because I hate this wire. It's always like in the way. Uh, but I don't want cheap ones and I don't want a mic if I can avoid it. I mean, if I can take the mic off, that's fine. I don't use uh, headsets. I just want a really good quality wire set of wireless headphones. Okay. Okay, dude. Okay. Not now. Very well. <laughs> hey, let me let me test something out here. Uh, can I? Let's see. Recustomize character, Dragon's Dogma too, because I think my character has a female voice. How to change the appearance of your character in Pawn? You can change the appearance of your character or main Pawn by visiting a makeover shop in major cities. Okay, I'll wait for that. But I'm pretty sure I'm actually. Um, Drunken Dwarf, welcome! Super real gamer Drunken Dwarf. This man single-handedly is responsible for three memberships to the channel. The biggest supporter thus far. But hey, if you guys haven't already, make sure to hit the like button. That actually does help on the live stream. It pushes it out to more people. The more likes I get, the more it pushes it out. And I like it pushed out. Do you like it pushed out? Okay, so... It costs a lot of money to rest at the inn, but I am poisoned and losing my health, and I don't think I have a, a cure for it. Oh, here we go. 
As long as the poison goes away, I'm fine. But the question is, how long does this poison last? You know what I mean? I, I guess you can't save while poisoned, huh? I wonder... Does F5 do a... Whoops. I had the chat selected. Does F5 do a quick save? That would be cool if it did. It'd be cool if it did. All right, let's check out what we got over here. And by the way, guys, I do want to let you know that I am not like many streamers. You see, many streamers absolutely despise backseat gaming. They hate it. They hate it so much that they will even ban you or suspend you for backseat gaming. I am precisely the opposite. I prefer to learn through the community, through my followers and friends and family members. Because you are all my family. Because my family died in a house fire, tragically, when I was a, an, uh, when I was a child and I was orphaned. Make haste, then. We must leave and I had to eat disgusting gruel every day. And I was always hungry every day, so I'd go back up to the people in charge of the orphanage and say, Please, sir, can I have some more? And they would say no. Although that may be from a movie I watched and not my life. I get confused about these things. How's performance been for me? Uh, not great. You can see the frame rate in the upper left corner. We're hovering just above 60. We sometimes dip into the 50s. And my settings also, are, I, I've lowered some of the settings. And we're playing at 1440p. I've lowered some of the settings. And we have dynamic resolution. So it's actually dropping the resolution to try to maintain that frame rate. I don't know what this image quality thing is. I don't. I don't know why image quality is separate from everything else because is it anti-aliasing? There's an anti-aliasing setting. So I don't see why that would be an issue, you know? FXA plus TAA? I don't normally do that. Screen space reflections. Let me just turn that off and see if that makes a big deal. It kind of sucks not to have it. Oh my goodness. Oh well, that oh that was temporary. That 85 was temporary. I was getting better performance not streaming, though. I played last night, um, and while playing, I was getting sometimes in the hundreds, but I mainly hovered around uh, 80 to 90, even in the towns. So I'm wondering if it's because I'm using OBS and live streaming. Die! And by the way, you apparently cannot... You can't... Um, lock on to enemies in this game which is really strange i'm so used to lock on if by chance anybody c makes a mod where you can lock on to enemies that would be awesome because this game feels like a lock on game but doesn't have lock on and that sucks i'm constantly like aiming in the wrong direction and all sorts of crazy things is there jiggle physics you know what i should turn the jiggle physics off you absolutely right large small world LSW. LSW's called it. It's the jiggle physics that's tanking it. You know why? It's the jiggle physics of my pawn named Fawn. I have a pawn named Fawn. The pawn's name is Fawn. And she has has big bajonkas. And they may be jiggling, causing severe loss of frame rate. Golly. These things are troublesome little buggers. Ugh. And it's hard to tell when you're blocking and when you're not. Watch. This is not blocking. This is blocking. So in the middle of battle, that's such a small visual tell that I often get confused as to whether I'm blocking or not. Fruit Roborant. Ooh, level 6. And by the way, I tend to level up from, like, every other fight. Pawn Forfeiture and Revival. Pawns are rendered immobile when their health falls to zero and unable to stir from when they have fallen without aid. If you leave your pawn in an immobile state for a prolonged period of time, they become forfeit and will be forcibly removed from your party. Okay. So I need to revive them. Come back. In Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, you give them a pizza. Wouldn't that be cool if in Dragon's Dogma, you gave them a pizza? I have a knack for gathering items and am ever on the hunt for new finds. I wonder if I can... <sighs> this is either uh, uh, probably a Japanese character. Well, maybe a Chinese character, because what are the, the squares in the middle of her name for? Username? Username shouldn't be squares on a Japanese game. I have 120 RC. I hope I can count All right. You in a scrape. Okay, she looks okay, but she has an annoying voice. Uh, Samson here 
Uh, I, I'm you know, the only reason I have Samson in my party is because he was free. There was literally no charge for him, so I'm like, okay, why not? No charge. Assistance for no charge. Drunken Dwarf says, I don't know if streaming would cause that, though. I think 3000 Series have its own dedicated stream chip on all those cards. You know, I hadn't heard about that. I know it has a, a dedicated uh, recording chip if you use, like, NV, N, NV Inc. or NVINC, um, the NVIDIA encoder chip, and that's probably what's also the, the stream chip. I think they're both the same thing. Um, it should. It, it does affect it a little bit, though, because streaming with OBS will use some processing power. <sighs> See, sometimes it's just really hard to aim at a specific enemy. Where, where, where am I? What's going on? Oh, okay, I was down on the ground. See, there I couldn't even get a view of myself to tell what was happening to me. Yeah, get up, you idiot. Also, you can die really, really quickly in this game. And I'm still poisoned? I'm still poisoned. It's one of those games? Come on. How long am I going to be poisoned? I would so enjoy Pizza would be out of place just like a lot of hairstyles. Yep, that's pretty much the way it is here. Half the crap in this game is out of place. Why, why are we shooting up here? Are there enemies up there? I can't tell. Okay. Why don't we go over here and fight these enemies? Oh my gosh, there are enemies. Did you see the enemies? Thank you, Pons, for always stating the obvious. Oh, look, there are goblins. I'm fighting a goblin. Goblins are fighting me. Yeah, the other problem, too, is in this game, you have all these cool moves, but because you can't lock on, you do a lot of missing. You miss a lot. All right, let me turn off my Steam Deck here. Ooh, <sighs> it's all done updating. Inside. Actually, you know what? I am going to leave this stream going while I play um, Dragon's Dogma on the Steam Deck. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the camera so you can see the Steam Deck as I'm playing, and we'll stream that way. Or not. Let's not. That would be stupid. All right, that's that. So now Dragon's Dogma is installed on the Steam Deck, which is unverified at the moment. Unverified status, so don't know how that's going to work out. I do not have high hopes for this game running well on the Steam Deck. Going to have to turn everything to minimum. <clears throat> so how bad was the walk and talk tutorial? It was bad, but not as bad as it could have been. You could skip most of it, but it does that thing... That very annoying thing that lots of Japanese games do. And you hold a button to skip the cutscene. And then the next cutscene immediately starts. So then you hold a button to skip that cutscene. And then the next cutscene immediately starts. And then you hold a button to skip that cutscene. And then the next cutscene immediately starts. And then you hold a button to skip that cutscene. Cut no joke. Then the fifth freaking cutscene starts. And I'm like, skip the cutscenes. Why are all the cutscenes split into different cutscenes so I have to skip each separate cutscene separately? It's like skip cutscene, skip cutscene, skip cutscene, skip cutscene, skip cutscene. Who's that? Literally. Well, I just want you to know my name is Stanley. And we're a very diverse community. Another pretender, you mean? We never give an explanation for why every race of humanity is represented here. There's just never an explanation for it. And nobody notices okay. or cares. Come. But Let in these pass. games, there may be, like, some element of arsism against a made-up race of characters. Like, say, for example, like in the Ultima series, there were the goblins. Sorry, not goblins. Uh, gargoyles. And, you know, people were arsist against the gargoyles. Actually, it would be speciesist because they're different species. But yet... The Asian and black and Middle Eastern and, and Indian and Hispanic, Latino, whatever. Nobody seemed to know or care or even notice all those differences. Like, like in the Witcher TV series. 
how it's like, oh, there are black characters and Asian characters and Indian characters and Latino characters, and nobody says anything and nobody cares, but oh my gosh, here's an elf. He looks exactly like every other white character except his ears just ever so slightly pointy, and we're going to hate on him like no other. We are arsist against the elves. Hate the elves. They're different. I'm like, what? You don't notice the lady standing next to you whose skin is 600 times darker than yours, whose skull structure is different than yours, whose body structure is different than yours? You don't even notice that? But you notice the tiny, tiny little point of the elves' ear? That's what is immersion-breaking. Absolutely immersion-breaking. Hey, check it out. The tent has a hole in it. Watch. Uh, well, I can't use my cursor. It's got a hole in it where you can see through to the outside. That's interesting. You see that right there? It's just to the right of me. Fascinating. Uh, cool thing is that uh, I'm still poisoned. <laughs> I'm still poisoned. We're still poisoned. Oh, oh my gosh. How long is this going to go on? Forever poison. The, the ever poison. You know how they talk about the ever war in some games? Like some uh, war that's supposedly gone on forever? Let's see. I have found that consumables to restore stamina in a game where stamina is constantly restoring itself are almost useless. Like, why are you going to... Why are you going to use... Well, actually, you know what? I just realized... Oh, nothing can be combined now. Why would you use an item to restore your stamina when you can just, like, wait a couple seconds and it restores? When is it ever going to be so important to have that stamina back just a few seconds earlier that you're going to use a potion for it? You know what I mean? Like, every stamina potion should automatically also come with, like, a stamina recovery boost or something, you know, to be useful. This game has a jump, but oddly enough, watch what happens if you, like some things, if you run up against them, you will automatically like climb up on top. So interesting. Most games where, oh, look at that. Syrup, syrup, wart, leaf. Oh no, golden trove beetle. This is one I want to show you. Apparently you get a permanent... Um, consuming it increases the weight one can carry by 15 kilograms. I think that's permanent. So I just, I use it on me all the time. You can apparently use it on your pawns, but why would you want to do that? I want to carry more stuff. Me, me, me. So the walk and talk is kind of bearable. You might want to go online and see if you can get like a saved game that skips all that nonsense. Because then there's like a fake fight with a serpent. And then there's another fake fight later. And, you know, it's all, like, wasted time. It's all just, like, wasted time. Because none of it matters. Uh, y y these are, like, fights that you're guaranteed to run away from at some point. But they start you off fighting as if it's a real fight, but it's not. It's just, like, part of the game. Or, I mean, part of the story, rather. Oh, and I love how they're just going into these treasure chests and collecting items for me. Better not take them... Better not leave with them like this is Baldur's Gate 3. Because, you know, that we are not playing Woker's Gate 3 here. No Woker's Gate for me. No spicy time with a bear here, folks. All right, this is a Rift Stone or something. All right, this is one of those games where some items, some things you just hit B to interact with, and some things you hold B to interact with. Yeah, hold B. All right, so we have Samson, but I'd love to switch him out. Um, although, honestly, he doesn't talk much, which is nice. Here's Kratos, but her name is Esther. <laughs> so we got Kratos the Esther. Um, can I get higher levels than me? Oh, you got to pay for it. So that's the catch, huh? I don't really want to pay for any of these. Any of them free? Yeah, the higher the level, the more they cost, huh? Yes, okay, so that's the condition. All right, whatever, let's get out of here. Pawns in the Rift. Fine pawns of the kindred inclination. Whatever that means. All right, how many of y'all have this? You guys have this game yet? Oh, look at that. I'm dropping below 60 there. Dropping below 60 even with dynamic resolution. Should I make camp? 
Sure, maybe this will get rid of this freaking poison. Forever poisoned. The ever poison. Hello, everybody. That guy over there is meditating. Rest till morning, equip skills. I don't think I have any new skills, do I? No. Just blink strike. I guess I have to rest at an end to get a new skill, huh? Look at all these people with me. There's a lot of us today. The music is okay. Our and it looks like after you're done with the camp, you take the camp kit with you, so it's not like a one-time use. Oh, yeah. Look at this uh, frame rate. Can I get there? Nope, nope, nope. See? But I can gather these fish. Get up here! Come here, fish! You stupid fish! Look, 45 frames per second. 45 FPS. 45 FPS. Dynamic resolution is on. Change the optimization of upscaling for high image quality at fast frame rates. So I guess I have to use Fidelity FX, not DL uh, SS. Well, that's super resolution, really. Um, let's try auto. Low, reduce input delay incurred by your system. Okay, we'll try all that, and we'll try sharpening it just a bit, and we'll see what happens. All right, let's try it out. Whoa, 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 66. Whoa, we went up like 22. We're still dangerously close to dropping below that 60-plus uh, ideal territory there. What do you think will happen if I try to jump from here to there to get to that treasure chest? You think I'm dead? Can I, can I save here? Let's save first. Save and continue. All right, let's see if uh, F5 saves. Nah, doesn't look like it. That's not a true PC RPG if F5 doesn't save. Oh, oh. Okay, so as long as you have the stamina to make it, it doesn't instantly kill you. Tide Swimmer. Wake Stone Shard. That sounds important. But am I stuck here forever? Forever trapped. Never to... Oh, I could go down this route. But am I stuck, like, on the wrong side of the river? Or can I get down to... There, oh, there's a bridge over there. Let's try it. Here we go. Jump down, and my character just really wants to belly flop. Watch this Watch this belly flop technique. Uh, don't belly flop, you idiot. Don't belly flop. Suggestion. Do not belly flop on hard rock surface. Oh, shoot. Uh, Hello. What was that? I thought there were going to be some boulders coming down. Avalanche, and I was going to jump. Okay. Interesting. Nobody commented on that. The pawns comment on everything in this game, but no comment on a freaking earthquake. Nobody cared about the earthquake. Oh, the earthquake. <laughs> Earthquakes every day around here. Earthquakes daily. This is also one of those games where you do not want to run out of stamina if you don't have to because... Uh, you get super tired and have to take longer to recover. So you want to stop before you run out. Die. It's good to know they make no attempt to run away. These guys are like, wait, we had a deal. We had an armistice between humans and deer. Oh, now I'm heavy. Oh, look at that. Running just sucks the stamina out of me so fast. So anyone currently playing? This is the kind of game where it seems like they could have allowed players to, to play together. Like you could be a pawn in another player's world. I mean, they haven't like anti-cheat and de novo and all this crap installed. Why not, right? What in the world? I, I can't... Why am I locked on? Like, I can't get away from these things. What happened? Is it broken? 
It just snaps back every time I try to move. What's happening? Why? Why is it doing this? I, I think it I think it's broken. Oh, there. Okay, now it stopped. Oh, no, oh, now we're back. Oh, now we're good. No, oh, oh, now we're back. Okay, now so uh, get get the uh, come release. Gotta break away from the town. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm back. I have no idea what this is. A bug? All right. Uh, well, I'm trying to figure out where we're supposed to go. Um, oh, uh, I was free for a moment. See? It's like you're... Oh, and then it snaps back. Oh, okay. You just kind of... All right, here we go. Oh, no. Trapped. Okay. Free. Free to... Oh, I'm stuck. Okay. So I need to turn around and go back the other way. Wonky. It looks like, okay, come on, run, 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 run. There we go. Sometimes I, I, it says B to dash, but it's also clicking down the stick, which is weird. Normally they don't give you both options. They give you one or the other. Sometimes you can change it in options. I know, Drunken Dwarf. I mean, new bugs, man. If, if, uh, I have a tendency to find weird bugs that other people don't notice. <clears throat> I've got a good feeling about this one. Lands next Zagus asks, how are the quests? Heard they're kind of fall flat like an MMO. Yes, they do. Hey, can you take this item over here? Can you take this barrel to this area and blow these people up with it? And then he walks over to where the area is. I'm like, well, you're right here. Why are you asking me to do it? You could do it. You're standing right there. Can I loot them during battle? Yes. Yes, and the intense spell effects make it actually hard to see what's going on. And so I can't tell when I'm supposed to block because there's so much incredible looking fire all over the screen. Yeah. Well, at least I'm not poisoned anymore, right? I went with the fighter. Uh... It has the same... I, I'm pretty sure these are the same classes from Dragon's Dogma, the first one. So, you know, interesting that they didn't offer anything new. Although I think after a while, can't you um, do subclasses or, specific, or, or specifications? or what, what, What's the word I'm looking for? Specialties? Not specifications. Oh, my gosh. I love how my male character has a female voice because that was just the default that I didn't notice. Thanks, Capcom. Thanks, Wokecom. Oh, somebody's uh, texting me asking about the game. I'm going to tell them it's poorly optimized. Kind of fun. Streaming it now. I thought Wait. you might like this, so I picked it up. Here you, go. you know, I should send him the link. I'm going to link it to him. What do you guys think about that? We're going to show this guy this link. This is one of my IRL friends. That means in real life. So I bring it up on my phone. I've never done this on my phone before. You're all like, okay, boomer. Leave me alone. Stop it. All right, there we go. So the quests are the same as the first one. Yeah, the quests are boring. Um, but you can throw stuff. Watch this. But you can't aim. See? So I just totally missed. I don't know. I mean, it needs a lock-on. Desperately needs a lock-on. I'm constantly, constantly feeling the need of a lock-on that I don't have. The, it, without the lock-on, the combat feels sloppy. And then there are combos in the game that you're clearly meant to do. If an enemy's down on the ground, hit him with the uh, heavy attack, and you do massive damage. Keep attacking with the light attack. It takes a long time. It takes a long time. 
So you really want to uh, optimize your battle strategy. I'm going around collecting all the items. Let's make sure I'm fully healed. Where, where's her little heal area? She already put it away? She pulled it out, and then she put it away. Like a true woke video game. It's not that woke. It's just the, the character creation is... Ugh. By default, there's only one decent-looking character. The rest are all but ugly. What is it with Wokies... In, in the, the left wing, wanting everyone to be ugly. But then simultaneously, they celebrate women who are making money on OnlyFans, but then get mad if there's an attractive woman in a video game. I, it does not make any sense. It's not internally consistent at all. Here, take that, Samson! <clears throat> so we have two fighters, a mage, and an archer. And just like in the original, we're constantly being bombarded with enemies at times. Uh, where's, th where's this guy go? Where is he? There he is. Yeah, see, a lock-on would be so helpful. Oh, no, don't climb up there. I'm trying to fight. You see, that's what I'm talking about. He automatically climbed. Watch, I'm just going to push. See, boom, and I climb up here. But I was actually just trying to move towards the enemy to fight him. So, you know. Oh, these things are... All right, get him, get him, uh! Die, you nippleless beast. Uh! Uh! Next time, bring some nipples. Dead. I think, uh, I think it's weak that in this, this high quality of a visual representation of the world, the presentation, the graphics, that the harpies... Have breasts but no nipples. Come on, now. That's just dumb. A breast with no nipples is no breast at all. Get, climb up there. There you go. We're going towards this treasure chest. Did you Did you guys see it? Where is it? There it is. Well, let's fight these guys first. Come here. Come here. Oh, shoot. Getting attacked from behind. Die, beast. Return to the hell from whence you came. Mm. Mm. I don't do enough damage. I need a better weapon. I haven't found any way to get a better weapon. The weapons are super expensive. I'm going to let my guys fight while I go get this treasure chest. It's not supposed to make sense. You're just supposed to accept it. You're absolutely right, Zacchaeus. You're absolutely... What, what, what's going on? Oh, I was tired from running and I couldn't attack. Even though attacking doesn't require stamina... If you're tired from running too much, you can't attack. Makes sense, I guess. Not really, but whatever. Also, some of the enemies you can search with B, but some you can't. It'd be nice if they glowed. Glowed? If they glowed. A lot of things glow when you can search them. But, uh... <laughs> my my friend is making fun of me because I would make fun of him for playing Lords of the Fallen and constantly show him how the score on Steam was mixed even, you know, months later. And then I showed him how the score for Dragon's Dogma on Steam is mostly negative. And he's like, oh, it's good to see you play uh, crappy games now. <clears throat> yes, uh, absolutely right, Zachis. We got to represent... The small number of people out there who were born without nipples. Let me just say, I feel your pain. I feel your pain. Salubrious draft. Okay, let's do this. Do uh, It would be nice if the menu wasn't like, I don't know. I feel like th they could do the menu better, but I'm not going to say a whole lot about that. Look at this. I, I just can't find any gear. This is the first piece of gear I've actually found. All the rest of the gear I have, I either started with or bought. I love games that have rings, but you can only ever wear one. Oh, they do glow. Okay. I guess just not immediately. I stand corrected. All right, so there's some more harpies over here. Having harpies in this game makes sense because a lot of wokesters are harpies. And harpies are wokesters. Well, really the other way. Wokesters are harpies. All right, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Shoot him, Archer. 
I am still clicking to try to, like, lock on. I can't stop myself. I just can't stop myself. I click. I click the lock on button. Zach ass. All right. Well, you're going to get me demonetized. You're Zach now, man. I'm not trying to get limited monetization. I want all that money. You're going to cost me the uh, additional 15 cents that YouTube would have given me. <clears throat> Excuse me. I love it when people accuse me of doing something for the YouTube money. I'm like, yes, I made this video, and I sacrificed my values and ethics all for the dollar and 19 cents I made over the course of a year on it. Be sure to aim true. You can break a lot of stuff in this game. I like that. I, I, you know, I'm having to train myself not to use as much foul language, and I guess it's all the better because... I don't use as much in my videos, so there's not as much to censor. Soft neck wrap. Is that a piece of equipment to equip? Apparently, well, oh, so cowl is separate from a helmet piece. That's cool. Or like cape or whatever. I like this little violin riff the game plays sometimes when you're not in combat. It, it sounds pretty cool. I like it. It's good. It's very relaxing. It's very epic in a way, relaxing. It would it would fit nicely in a really good fantasy movie. Uh, nothing but good things to say about the music so far. Not that it's amazing. It's not like the, the music will knock your socks off and, and you'll want to listen to it in, in the car necessarily. Uh, but you might. I mean, you might want to buy the, the CD soundtrack and pop the CD in your CD player in your car. And, and skip to track four and play and put it on endless repeat track four. By the way, unless you need to for a quest or you just really want to challenge yourself, okay, don't rest until nightfall. Don't do that. Nightfall, nighttime enemies, kick your butt. Just trust me, okay? You're going to die a lot with nighttime enemies. I died pretty much every enemy encounter I had at night. And I was stuck because I died before recovering. Like, I got interrupted during the camp. And uh, the wolves killed me. And then I, could, I didn't get my camping kit back, so I couldn't camp until morning. So I just had to, like, keep trying to run past enemies until I finally made it. Otherwise, I was just going to restart the game or, or go back to when I saved at the inn. But then they said, there's no room at the inn. Am, are we even going the right way? What happened to the other dudes? Why, why, why is it still stuck? Is that a setting? Can I turn it off? Um, RT and LT are supposed to jump the cursor, but it's like they're stuck in the on position. But if they were, I would know because it would affect gameplay, right? So I can't even get to the freaking quest. Which, I don't know. Have I failed it? They don't seem to be following me anymore. And who is this guy over here jumping around like an idiot? Oh, boy. I feel like I'm not ready for this. Uh, I feel like it's too late to save. It did save at the uh, rest point, I think, so... Yeah. Whoever that guy is, he's helping us out, so I'll take it. Is that a poison leg? Oh, yeah, we, we could do this, I think. Yeah, we can do this. It's possible. I'm going to just slash at his butt. Okay, there we go. I was pushing the wrong button for the special ability. Oh, somehow that didn't hit me. Should I try climbing him? Oh, it didn't work. Oh, let's slash at his crotch. Maybe that'll do some extra damage. Oh, oh, he's about to fall. Uh, let's see, you can grab hold of a foe while standing by making contact with him and press R2. Okay. All right, let's climb him. Can I climb him? Well, I'm trying. It's not working. 
Can I climb them? No. I'm, I'm, I just make the, 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 I make the animation like I'm doing it, and then I don't. Impale. Oh, yes. There we go. Oh, yes. Hit him with that. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. All right. I got to give that a rest so I can get my stamina back. Oh, I attack upwards if the enemy's above me. Nice. I like that. Last thing you want to do is that Dark Souls style swing between their legs. Ornstein and Smo style. Where you end up missing sometimes because it's between their legs. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, can I hit him with this? Will this do any good? Oh, that did something, but it didn't seem to do enough to be worth bothering with. Well, I don't know. Let's try it again. Oh, I missed completely. Oh, here we go. Let's climb up on him. Oh, yeah. That did a ton. Oh, yes. I should probably jump off him before he gets back up. What do you guys think? Uh-oh. Oh, yes. I'm actually quite shocked that th what the heck is going on here? The water broke through? What happened to the body? What happened? He just disappeared? There's nothing left? What about the treasure? The items? I get that they make him disappear because, you know, he, he requires so much processing power, but come on now. My coffee's already, like, l warm, lukewarm. Not good warm. Bummer, huh? I say we collect as much as we can carry. Uh, freshly roasted. Well, I, I don't see any items, uh, unless... Is that, like, an explosive barrel up there that I could have used? Is it? It is, isn't it? Yeah, I guess so. I could I could have used that. I just Oh, there it is. Okay. Much happier now. That's it? Just two rugged bones? Well, maybe those rugged bones are worth something, huh? Can I slice them into pieces or is He's just going to stay partially suspended. There's his crotch, in case you were wondering. All right, well, um, this is the way we were going, so I guess we continue onward. Although, the guys that were following me aren't following me anymore, so I imagine maybe I went the wrong direction and that quest has now failed. Oh, LSW, large, small world. You need coffee at 2.30 in the morning? That's a little, uh, that that's an intense. If you're about to go to bed at 2.30 in the morning, you're like, nah, I'll just start drinking some coffee. That's dedication. Hmm. I wonder if I can save it now just in case. Oh, nope. Too late. Too late. Too late. Well, thank you for uh, staying up to enjoy the stream with me. I, uh... I don't normally stream this time. Uh, I'm trying to be entertaining. <clears throat> let's do it. Let's do it. Let's knock. Let's knock them out of the sky. Oh no! It's the sleep mode. They're gonna put sleep on us. It's like, how do you, how do you get to them if you're not an archer? Sometimes they will come down. Oh well, now I'm asleep. I'm not sure there's anything I can do about it. Oh, look, he's like, she's like, get up, you stupid idiot. Oh, come on. He was on the ground. I was, I almost got it to her. I said he, but really it's a she. They're all she's. Well, they took care of it for me. Problem solved. Where's the other body? Right there? You already got it. Okay. So I think that's the reason a lot of them don't have items on them. Maybe it's my party members already collecting it. See, those aren't breasts. There's no nipples on them. Cheap. Somebody mod that into the game. Somebody create a mod called Nippled Harpies. All right, let me go ahead and, while I'm thinking about it, do 
another announcement of the stream so that everyone can see it. I'm going to do it on X. Oh, you know what? I should do it on uh, Steam as well. Uh, make a Steam group announcement. I think people would like that. We're live with Dragon's Dogma 2. All right, let's uh, pull up Steam. Where is it? Where's my Steam at? Okay, there it is. We're gonna we're gonna go to our community here, and while I do that, I can still kind of like oh wow, I can still kind of move around here. So I can I can play while fiddling around on my second monitor. Pretty cool. All right, time for an announcement. Post an announcement. Boom! Here we go. Live with Dragons Dogma Two. Dragon's Dogma 2 with Real Mark Fox. Yeah. How do you guys like the thumbnail? Can you see the thumbnail for this one? I thought you guys might like the thumbnail on this one. I thought it was pretty good. I like it. I'm getting better at making thumbnails, making them quick, snappy, like that. Any suggestions for a good quality wireless headset? Or not headset. Headphones. Good quality wireless headphones. I don't need a headset. If the microphone is removable, I guess that'd be okay. But generally speaking, I think what I'm looking for is headphones only. I think the microphone component turns it into a headset, and headsets tend to be a little lower quality on the audio, in my experience. Maybe I'm wrong. The microphones on headsets are never good enough quality for me. I, I just don't like them, and I don't move around enough to have to worry about it. I'd rather have the microphone be a higher quality one. Like, this is a $200 mic from Audio-Technica, and I use this. <clears throat> See, what is it with them wanting to make everyone ugly? Like, this guy's got that, uh, what's that skin condition Michael Jackson had? All right, lantern. Everything's expensive, too. And everything weighs a lot, you know? Traveler's Gators. Oh, that would uh, that would be better for me. Miner's Hosen is better than the Gators. Yeah, you can't go by how things look. That's for sure. I will buy that because that gives me a lot more defense. Oh, that's about it. Yep. Uh, yep, okay. Oh, I like how it shows you how much you have left. That's cool. Any other junk I want to sell? Oh, I have one of those Grove uh, beetles. I need to use it then. Again, By the way, don't talk to these guys. Don't talk to the characters. They usually say useless stuff like, Yes, I have great wares for you. <clears throat> Large, small world. All the females in my modded Skyrim are all Beijing. Awesome. What about Bishoujo? You love your PC38X headset. I think if you go wireless, I would go with Bose or Sony. Yeah, I thought about going with another company that I wasn't sure um, if they were really that great, so I was looking at reviews. And, you know, the problem is you'll watch one review, and the guy's like, this is the best wireless head headphones ever, the best wireless headphones ever. And then another review would be like, you don't want to get this one. It's crap. I think there's an element of auto-aiming to some of your abilities, which is cool. But, you know. Whatever. I was so, soon. Why? We seem to have come through unscathed. so, at this point, I honestly don't know where we're supposed to be going. Great. So, okay. Uh, let's see. This is just kind of curving around. Well, we'll just continue following this path. I think I may have lost uh, the quest that I had. The quest is gone. The quest has, has... I've failed it. You know, really, I don't think I failed the quest. I think the quest failed me PC 38x let's see what that is um, let me look it up and see what I can see PC 38x headset so let's see if Amazon's the first yes oh it's a uh, Sennheiser I've, it's drop plus Sennheiser I've heard good stuff about Sennheiser 
It's $180. Uh, is the microphone removable? I'd love to have a removable microphone if possible, because I, I don't want the mic like just being in the way, you know? Goblins! There are so many goblins! Whoa! He went flying across the screen! So did I, apparently, and I just went right through them. Then again, they were both dead, so whatever. Take that, pawn. All right, what were they guarding over here? A rock? They're like, this is their great and holy rock. This is their mesa. Or mecha, rather. I don't know why I said mesa. It was Half-Life half -life mode. Different combinations of materials result in different creations. What? 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 Oh, okay. I'm I'm weak. All right. I was like, is this is is this a cinematic? Is this Final Fantasy VII? Is it just taking control of my character and, and directing me and pointing the camera and you know not letting me control it? Over encumbered. All right. We don't want that. How do I? Uh, yeah. I just want to give some of this crap to someone else. It'd be nice if I could give multiples, like select a whole bunch of different items and then give them all to someone else, you know? Rather than doing it individually like this. This is a lot of, um, this is a lot. Uh, let's see. Can I organize it by weight? Highest, okay. So let's give that to Fawn. And then... Wow, those are the heaviest? Hmm. The fish. The fish is heavy. Usable even by those incapable of magic. Invokes High Leaven, a lightning spell. Okay, Fawn can have that. I'll give that one to Fawn as well. How do I know if they are over-encumbered? Uh, let's see. Samsung is light, light, and Fawn is average. Oh, well, they, they need everything of mine then. I'm, I'm over here carrying it all. This isn't fair. Oops. Oh, whoops. Vaughn is heavy now. Uh, we don't want to do that. Samson should be able to carry more, I would imagine, right? Being a fighter and all. I would think that would affect how much he can carry. How much do these feathers weigh? The feathers are the heaviest items in the game. I hope uh, he doesn't, like, run off with them all after this point. You know what I mean? Like, he dies and I lose all my items. All right, so I've got that equipped, that equipped, that, 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 that. I like how it has an E next to it if it's equipped. Makes it easy to tell what's going on. This I'm going to use. You can now carry an additional point fifteen kilograms. But now we're going to go to Fawn and move some of these items. Well, actually, let's combine some. Let's see. An arrow that... Oh, okay. Well, sure, why not? Where did those arrows go? Because those we could definitely give to... Oh, hey, let's see what this is. Made Mighty Roberant 2. Don't know what that does. Consume it to get more stamina. Yeah, whatever, okay. Well, wait, hang on. I don't want to use it for stamina if, you know, if I can use it for health. Health is preferable to stamina, always. Use it to cure the blighted debilitation. Poison, that's what I needed earlier. You were watching someone play a magic build yesterday and they were just plowing through the game? That wouldn't surprise me. Um, I typically don't enjoy magic builds as much as I do uh, fighter kind of builds. All right, so looks like we're, we're fine now. All right, so this is all her gear, right? Well, no, no, no. Let's give that to Samson, and that lightens her up a bit. And give that one to Samson, and give that to Samson. Okay, so I guess I guess that should be good enough. All right, well, that... I imagine you take damage if you fall from high enough. I just haven't... I haven't fallen from high enough yet. I keep falling from slightly higher distances, but not once yet have I... Oh, come on. This this stupid bug where I can't move my <clears throat> cursor on the map properly. So dumb. It's dumb, man. 
Should I switch to a magic build? Because I think you can switch vocations. I just don't know what the kind of penalty is for that. You need me at the vanguard? Say no more. <clears throat> All right. I already had my oatmeal this morning, made my coffee. It needs to be reheated, but I'm just too lazy to get up and do it. So, golly, this bug sucks. Well, nope, the other way. All right, so it curves around down there. Yeah, down right there. Is there a shortcut? Well, there is. I don't think we'll make it if we take the shortcut. In the, in the first game, Dragon's Dogma, Dark Arisen at least, you could turn off or reduce pawn chatter. This game desperately needs that. Now, they don't talk as much as the first one did, but they do talk too much. I also noticed that YouTube has quite the delay um, in the stream versus the chat. Not a fan of it. I wonder if there's something I can do about it. I have it in low latency mode, so it's supposed to be reduced delay. But uh, it's not what I'm seeing. Bam! All right, there we go. Here, take that. Good thing you don't have friendly fire, because your your mages and your group would just be burning you alive. What? Now that's some strength. Take that big boulder and just smash it under against the wall. So it looks like boulders did come down and could have killed us all, but I managed to avoid them without even realizing I was avoiding them. As soon as you hear your character huffing and puffing, you want to stop. And the reason it sounds like a female huffing and puffing is because it was it defaulted my character to a female voice and I didn't even notice before it was too late. I'd already started the game. I, I just assumed that if you pick a male body, they're going to have a male voice, but this is the new age of wokeism. Pronouns! Current day California bullcrap! Who gets the reference? You know, as much as we talk crap about California, in all honesty, we really should be talking crap about west coast uh really it's the the bay area california san francisco mainly it's not just all of california that's the problem most of california is full of reasonable normal regular people uh the problem we're still the performance is still not good i would expect them to make it better over time let's go to performance mode let's see how that looks we were doing auto um Wow, I, I don't think I noticed any difference in the frame rate. It's 63. Before it was what, like 62, 64? Well, now we're in the 70s. Okay, we'll, we'll give it a chance, but so far it doesn't seem to be performance by any means. See, once you start getting hit, you just get staggered endlessly. Um, really crappy feeling, because like, you can't get out of it. There's no dodge option. It's just You just got to sit there and take it until you're uh, practically dead. All right, I'm going to get in this heal area while I can here. And that idiot over there is throwing crap at us. Like a loser. Oh, glad I didn't go off the cliff's edge. The cliff's edge. A new novel by Mark Fox. Hey, speaking of which, I need to make sure my novels are handy here. I can't reach one from where I'm at. Um, but if you guys didn't know, I wrote a novel. Most of you probably know that. Uh-oh. Are they fighting? I'm going to be that douche nozzle that's uh, that's looting stuff during the fight. Yes, Large Small World. That is exactly what has happened. A lot of people who were not into politics, didn't know much about it, didn't care about American garbage politics, had no idea about anything until all this Gamergate uh, wokeism Sweet baby ink bull crap popped up. Is there something up here? Yes. A wolf. A wolf. Scrag of beast. 
Oh, look, there's something over here. Oh, there's a camp. Is this where I camped earlier? <sighs> Freaking map bug. I think it is. Although, I did not notice this uh, building right here. If I did camp here and not notice this, I must be blind. Oh, what the? That was unexpected. Now I know what to expect in the future. Oh, this guy's tough. Look at all that health. Oh, yeah. See, I'm doing to him what the enemies do to me. Just stun lock him to death. Yeah, suck on that. Suck that. Wait, is there a fight out here? I guess I should go join the fight before uh, looting. Take that, wolf. It, it always sucks to have to fight a wolf because it's like my cousin being a fox and all. That's a way to travel fast. All right, so that guy, okay. So I couldn't loot him until now. Fine, fine, fine. Yeah, all the, the politics and game stuff that the Wokies try to force in, uh, it backfires a lot. But at the same time, at the end of the day, you got to look at big picture to see who's winning. And like it or not, they are winning. And they've been winning for decades and decades in all categories. Um, gaming is the one space, more than any other, that has resisted. And you're going to think I'm crazy, but if you go out and look, you'll see I'm, uh, I'm right. Gaming has resisted the, the anti-white, anti-male, anti-hetero, uh, woke, radical left-wing agenda. Gaming has resisted more and more successfully than even the churches have. I mean, look at what the Pope of the Catholic Church is saying. He's now a radical wokey. He's a he's a leftist. He's just a far left radical. He's saying the same crap that all the the left wing politicians are saying. He just couches it in religious language to try to convince Catholic people. Look at this. My frame rate is still dropping into the fifties with performance mode. So dynamic resolution. If I turn that off, d does it ignore this? All right, let's try ultra performance mode. Look at how low the processing load is. I, I should have almost four times that much processing power according to this game. And it can't maintain a stable 60. That's garbage. This is worse than I thought. I just had a better experience initially than what it's going to be. And now the... the the video quality has dropped significant the audio the, the the graphical quality. It looks much crappier, but the frame rate it's about the same. Why would I want crappier looking graphics and then the frame rate is the same? Who would want that? No one would want that. Yeah, look. About the frame uh, the frame rate's about the same. Like two or three frame rate difference to have much lower resolution and pixelated. Exactly, Large Small World. We want our fictional, fantastical entertainment. And you know what we don't want in our fantasy games? Ugly chicks. We want attractive women. Now it's really... Now Look at how crappy this looks Those now. So it's stuttering like mad, dropping below 60 like crazy. I wonder if this is the kind of game where it gets crappier the longer you play. Yeah, see, see, I just get stuck in that. There's no, there's no dodge. This game desperately needs a dodge ability. It desperately needs a dodge, so desperately. I keep forgetting to block, though. I know it's like you're meant to block in this game. Come on, hit him, hit him! Oh crap! Oh. Oop, I keep trying to dodge, and it there is no dodge. <laughs> yes, just pick him up and throw him. The mage picked him up and threw him. Okay, guys? The mage. The female mage in my party picked him up and threw him. 
Here she comes with the, the clutch heels just in time. All right, so that's done. Now now these serpent dudes are, are attacking. Can we kill these guys? Are they? No. Oh, yeah. We got it. We got it. We got this. We got this. We got this. We got this. We got this by the tail. We, oh, yeah. The tail. Cut it right off. Oh, it's still alive, even after the tail got cut off. I wonder, are you more likely to cut the tail off if you actually hit the tail? Okay, where's where's uh, where's the rest of this? Oh, that guy's still alive? You're still alive, man? I thought you were dead. We didn't kill you. I thought for sure we killed you. All right. All right, can I can I search his body, or did someone else already search it? Did Samson rob me of that pleasure? All right, what do we got? Oh, flies are already forming on the dead bodies. They're moving quick around here. We need not shrink from danger. We have the strength to prevail over anything. Hmm, interesting. Let's go in here and see what we got in here. We got a treasure chest. None of them are locked, by the way, interestingly enough. Break, you want to break boxes because sometimes they have crap in them. <gasps> I saw that just as I was swinging at it. You even heard me do the... <gasps> Drunken Dwarf is exactly right. We see enough ugly people in real life. The last thing we want are fat, ugly people in our video games. There are way too many fat, ugly people in real life, especially if you live in the U.S. If you've never been to the United States and you're from, like, Europe... Or um, Asia, you have no idea how ugly and fat a lot of people are in the U.S. Just grossly ugly and fat. Like, obese, like, morbidly. What? Did I go right through the wall? Hmm. Um, it's just sad how fat so many Americans are. And then on top of that, it's like they've given up on even trying to be healthy. It's like they've just given up on trying to look good. They go to the grocery store in, uh, in pajama pants. Their hair isn't done up. The women have no makeup. Don't care. Sloppy stains on their clothing. Can I break this or is it just never going to break? Okay, that took a while. Do I get any credit for breaking it? All right, there's some crap up here. I think I'm supposed to go this way. Stellar Blade. I'm starting to think I might buy Stellar Blade on PC. Not even wait. Or, I mean, uh, PlayStation 5. Not even wait for the PC version. We'll see. Yes, visited Japan five times. Awesome. I used to live in Japan. Uh, where did you go in Japan? I've been to Tokyo a few times. Uh, I was in the uh, Saitama region and Urawa. Urawa, Saitama. Um, I lived in, uh, let's see, an area between Himeji and Kobe, a smaller town. Rice fields all around, which is pretty cool. What am I doing in here? Oh, I meant to go to equipment, and then I want to get rid of some of the stuff I have on me because it's just getting too heavy. I'm going to give these to Lisa since she's the archer. She can use those. I don't need them. All right, so when we're combining items, does it take items from everyone's inventory and count that as combo items? Like, if I have items on Fawn, Samson, Lisa, and Fox, and I try to combine, will it combine from all the different inventories or just the one? That's a good question. Hmm, I don't know. Well, I could combine when I did it just a moment ago, and now I can't. So maybe it does grab from all. Visited L.A., New York, and have to say Tokyo people are well-dressed. Oh, so much better. New York and L.A., you will find people dress much better there 
than in uh, some of the areas of the country where that, that aren't as well known for it. If you go to an area of the country that doesn't really have this strong identity, just some random place like Milwaukee or, um, I don't know, some, you know, not, not like Los Angeles, Miami, New York. These are kind of bigger, fancier, um, more expensive places. There, people tend to try to look better and present themselves better. In a lot, in a lot of the United States, people make no attempt to present themselves well. Virtually none. What is this thing? Did we just kill like this poor little prisoner, dude? Yeah, in the United States, junk food is king. Like it is so cheap, it is so available, you get so much compared to trying to eat healthy. Like um, I get raw milk; it gets it's shipped in weekly from this uh, organic. Uh, farm organic family-owned farm so I get raw milk shipped in and then I get other things with it like sometimes I'll get like maple cream or some vegetables or fruits but I mostly don't do those because the shipping's too expensive um, they do have some really nice baked goods but I can't do gluten much without it messing up my skin and then I get my meat sent in frozen from uh, a service a meat service it's grass-fed organic all that all that nonsense um, it's expensive, but we eat well over here. We eat well, uh, healthy. Um, and then when I do get snack foods, it's like the healthy snack foods, if that makes any sense, you know? Like if I ever get potato chips, they have, they have potatoes, organic potatoes, salt, and avocado oil, or olive oil, or pig lard. Yeah, the solution is just get these injections to lower your fat levels. And yes, J Japan has really mastered a lot of things that you would never imagine they would, like burgers. Japan has its own burger chains. And they do so many cool things with them that you won't see elsewhere. At least I haven't. Uh, maybe another country somewhere in Asia is doing it or somewhere in the world that I haven't been to, but not the U.S., or Canada. All right, so we were going this way. I guess I can look and see on my on my little mini map what has been revealed, and then follow the path of that has not been revealed. Is somebody shooting something? Okay. Wait, somebody. Somebody hit a chest. Where is this chest hidden? Where is it? Point it out to me. Oh, up there? Let's see. We have to get it now. Stop. Get up there, stupid. All right. Let's see. Uh, well, there's that, an herb. Let's see. How do we get to that? Uh, that, well, maybe. Okay, this is a long deviation, but we'll try it. Mr. Donut was pretty good. I used to go to Mr. Donut back before I was much of a health freak. I used to go to Mr. Donut like once or twice a week with a friend. We'd meet up there and uh, we'd have a donut and um, I'd get milk tea because I didn't drink coffee at the time. I know that sounds crazy because now I'm so big into coffee that you'd never imagine there was a time I didn't drink it. So you definitely want to do these heavy attacks when they're down. That does massive damage. It's just incredible how hard you can hit under the right circle. Why, why am I? Okay. That was weird. I, like, walked up and gave that guy a high five, but I couldn't control my character. Okay. Yeah, right there, right there, right there. Here we go. What do we got here? A scrag of beast. The same thing I get from everything else. Uh, yeah, boring. Oh, there we go. Okay. So now we're over here. So now we just got to get up there. Oh, might be able to go this route. Oh, this is a new song I haven't heard yet. Sounds pretty cool. It's a fun song. Well, I wouldn't say fun. It's a nice song. It's a pleasant song. How do I get up there? 
I'm getting turned around. I, I mean, isn't it up there? Can you put markers on the map, even though the map fights me? I obviously can't put a marker on the map because the map is going to fight me. See? Can I move it with the mouse? Nope. The mouse won't move it at all. Moment I've been waiting for. Allow me to gather these up. What's here? What the heck is that? Oh, am I going to get poisoned by this thing? Don't poison me. Oh, no. Don't poison me. Okay. Maybe I should just let the magic users do this one. Hmm. I'm not sure that's even doing any damage. I'm just like being absorbed into it by the blob. Remember that movie, The Blob? There was an original one, and then there was a, a, a later one. The original one is like from the 50s or some crazy stuff. Let me try that again, see how much it's doing. If it's doing any damage, I can't even tell. I'm being absorbed by the blob. I wonder if it would kill me if my stamina went all the way down, because I'm thinking it might. Where's Samson? Oh, there he is. Lisa, shoot it. Shoot it with arrows. Burn it with fire. Burn it with fire, Fawn. I can't seem to do anything to it. We did massive damage somehow. Oh, that was it. The fire. Okay. What do you got for me? Greenish slime. Oh, we got sticky white stuff. Some of you get that reference, right? Okay, so where's this treasure chest that I was originally going for? Golly, I hate this. Uh, I would restart the game to fix that bug. Hopefully fix the bug, but... Eh. I'm streaming. I'll just have to live with it for now. now this is a Let's use this. Boom. At this point, I think I've gotten enough to where I can carry a whole nother pound, or kilogram, rather. Kilogram. They do kilograms in this. So hang on. Isn't the treasure chest back this way? Oh, look. There's something on the other side. Goblin horn. Hall birch. Hall beach. Hill beach bark. Okay, I, get, I got it. So where is this treasure chest? Is it on that? In that mountain over there? The whole point of coming over here was the treasure chest. Though there are other items to collect. Yeah, don't go just randomly swimming out in the water. That's how you die, my friends. That's how you die. That's one way you die. It's not the only way you can die. Yeah, there's stuff up there. So clearly you're meant to be able to get up there somehow. Aha! Here's a treasure chest. Not the one I was looking for, but it's a treasure chest. A lot of them have fine mincemeat. Yeah. yeah, that's not the kind of thing you put in a treasure chest. That's the kind of thing that goes in a barrel or a box. That's not treasure chest worthy. A, a simple consumable, not treasure chest worthy. All right, is it here? Is this it? No. No. Get beast skin, which you can get from, like, any monster, so that's nothing special. Oh, yeah, maybe that was it. Yes, okay, so we got it. 1,210 gold and a strawberry. It was worth it for the strawberry. The 1,210 gold was just the cherry on top of the strawberry. Uh-oh. What, what are we being fought? Fought by? What are we being attacked by? We're being fought. We've been fought. Oh look, I can uh, I can get it again. Am I even hitting this thing? Okay, I'm not. Die! Even the little dudes require quite a lot of uh, smacking around. Where'd the other one go? You know what? Doesn't even matter at this point. Okay, so we got all that. Look at that dude. Man, he's at or her. She's agile. Uh I don't see a way up there. Maybe we should just go back to the uh to the bridge. 
Now, some people might say that this game is open world, and I don't think so. Um, it's sort of partially open world, but not really. Let's see what happens if I do this. Oh, look at that. That worked. I thought I'd either take damage or slide into the water. All right, guys. I am going to go... Uh, uh, let me let me do this so people know. Go into, go into heat. Oh my gosh, I can't type. Heat up my coffee and pee, but not at the same time. All right, guys, I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. I'm gonna go heat this coffee up. I gotta pee, and you'll see. Oop, oop! I'm hitting my microphone, and you'll see me in just a moment. Well-aimed strike, right where it hurts. I'll turn you into a pin cushion. I don't know about you, Master, but I'm worn out. Mightn't we have a rest before pressing on? get that for you. I thought you might like this, so I picked it up. Here you go. There are useful ingredients Coffee to be gathered here, I'll wager. If it's because not hot, now, it's not really coffee if it's not hot. All right. Let's see what we can do now. Welcome back, everybody, for, to me. And now we move on to... Oh, uh, yeah, we're still stuck. I, <laughs> I keep forgetting. Uh, this direction, whatever this direction is. So I don't think there's a fast travel. If there is, I'm not aware of how to do it. I know the first game did not have fast travel until later where you could get some sort of like crystals or something, but you had to choose your fast travel points. Um, what do we got here? What is this? Oh, this thing looks like it might hurt worse than the golem because it might move much faster. It's got more health. Um, I, I'm gonna try to gauge here. I, it's doable, but it depends on how hard it hits. All right, let me get out of this. Okay. Get my stamina back here. Can I climb this dude? No. I try. Oh, is he? What? What? Running off with my girl. You actually went to put on pants. <laughs> uh, I didn't. I've still got... Okay. What the heck? Is he going to eat her? Is he going to have spice with her? Is he doing damage to her? She's our healer. We need to get her back. Okay. Help us. Help us. Heal. Cast your heal. Oh, Samson's down. All right, after we heal up a bit, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, yeah, I think we might want to give up on this guy, but we'll see. Come on. Good to go. He's 
he may have like a weakness that I, I I'm not thinking of like maybe a, a spot where we can hit him that does a ton of damage but so far we haven't knocked him down once so it looks like we we're out of our element here we're in over our heads with this guy I've gotten lucky and just haven't been hit really much let me see if I have an item I can use to enhance my abilities here can be used to enhance equipment uh, I can't use it here, though. Uh, well, I have healing items. What does this do? Reduce the chance of becoming inflected with... Uh, d boost your defense and magic defense for a period of time. I don't think that's going to make a big difference. What does this guy got? A concoction. Um, drink it to boost your strength and magic for a period of time. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Because I'm, I'm going off strength, so I should be doing more damage now, right? See, I can't tell when he go if he's going down or if he's just... Oh, uh, no. Don't hurt her. Okay. Let's bring her back. Bring her back. No, I... I you got to hold that button tight. Hold that button tight. Hold that button tight. All right. Help yourself. Oh, no. Not again. All right, let's let's get her. We need her to shoot from a distance. Here we go. We got the heels going. <clears throat> We've almost got his first bar, which is which means that we may Oh, oh, oh he's going to go down. Come on, fall down, dude. Fall down. Fall down. Yes. Here we go. Let's climb up on top of him. Get him right in the face. Oh, yes. Right in the face. Oh, stab him in the eye. Stab him in the eye. No mercy. Stab him in the eye. Get him again. Get him again. Get him again. Don't stop. No reason to stop. No reason to stop. Don't stop. Can't stop. Won't stop. Okay. I should get off. I should probably get off. Am I off? No, I'm not off. I'm still stabbing him in the eyeball. Oh, yes. Neck. Neck shot. Neck shot. <clears throat> All right. Let's cast some heals. Let's get some heals going over here. Get some heals going. Fawn, Fawn, get the heals going. Where are we at, Fawn? Where are we at with the heals, Fawn? He's about to do something. <clears throat> yeah, there he goes. Knocked Samson down to the ground. All right, let's heal up Samson. Come on. Resurrect, resurrect. I'm going to take a sip of my coffee. All right, we got the coffee down. We got the coffee in. Coffee is in. We're feeling much better. What is this? Let's loot real quick while we're doing this. All right. Give us the heals. Give us the heals. We need the heals. Fawn, where are the heals at? Fawn, where are the heals at? I'm hitting the help button. I'm hitting the help button. Interestingly enough, he is not concerned about me. I don't think he's, like, tried to hit me even once. Oh. I got tired there, but I didn't get hit. Give us the heals! The heals! Where are the heals at? We need a heal. Uh-oh. Get out of the way. Oh, I blocked it. Alrighty, there's the heals. The heels, spelled H-E-E-L-Z. <clears throat> get in here, Samson, you idiot, get in here. Do you see the heel? Oh, he's got, oh, Samson's like latched onto him. And now it's nighttime? He's gonna run us into other enemies. Cheap, cheap ass beastard. Oh, that hurt. Uh, let's do this. Let's do a heal potion. Um. Oh, no, I didn't mean discard. Gosh darn it. I meant to move it. Where's Samson at? Maybe I can still pick it up from the ground. Yes, give me up. Thank you. Yes, I, I can. I picked it up. No, that was the strawberry. Where is it? Where is it? Did I really lose that potion? Darn it. Oh, now I'm too tired. 
Come on, knock him down. We need him to fall down. Does it not happen until another one of his health bars falls? All right, let's do another heal. All right, where are we at? Where are we at with the heals? I can't use another one? How long do I have to wait? And I'm also heavy, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to give this crap to someone else, okay? Uh, it's good that they let you do this in the middle of the fight, because... I don't need to be heavy right now. Oh, is that because the other dude's down? They gave me all his crap? I need to get... I need to not be heavy. That's the goal here. Not heavy. Okay. Uh, it's We're weighted by heaviest. So let's start up here then. Oh my gosh, we're still heavy. Oh, we're still heavy. Um, I can't use that? Well, let's give it to Fawn. Maybe she can use it. Okay, now I'm average. All right, where's our where's our dude that's... Where's our other... Where's our other dude? Where's our other dude? He's over here. All right, this is a chance to drink coffee. Samson is back, fellas. Ugh, crap. Can I heal yet? Yes. Can I heal again? No. So apparently there's a limit on how much you can heal there. This is the toughest enemy yet. Okay, I need to not be, like, right in the way of his uh, attacks. I want to be behind him if possible. Oh, okay, now he's focused on me, which is not good, because if I go down, it's over. Oh, I, I forgot to block, but I moved out of the way. Okay, I'm blocking. I don't know if that I needed to, but I blocked. Uh-oh. He's focused on me. I don't want him focused on me. Don't focus on me, man. Don't focus on me. Oh, shoot. That, that hit right behind me. I don't need him focused on me. Although, everyone else is weak except for Vaughn. Okay, we've almost got him down a whole nother bar. But then that means another bar after that. Ah, oh, I didn't get the block up in time. Let me see if I can do a salubrious draft. Uh, oh, yeah, I got rid of that other potion. Gosh darn it. Yeah, that's... Uh, I don't think I have anything else to... Oh, you can consume mincemeat. Okay, yes. I didn't realize that was a healing item. All right. Oh, but we can't use both. Okay. Oh, come on. I can't get up. Let me get up. Get up, you idiot. What are we doing? Why am I crawling on the floor like an idiot? Oh, my God. Is this where... Oh, come on. Skeletons. What the... F oh, I knew this bullshit was going to happen. I knew it was going to shit itself. I knew the game was going to crap itself and do the thing where other enemies come in. I knew it as soon as it got dark. I knew this bullshit was going to happen. Oh, man, fuck this. It all went to shit. The game shit itself. It's not possible to beat that. It's not possible when all the other enemies come running in. It's just not. So, that's shit. That's shitty. That's just the end of it. That's just like instant death which doesn't make the game hard it just makes you die there's a difference between oh look you're dead and oh this game is challenging so it starts us right before the guy which is interesting maybe we need to use the environment oh my god oh and it, and it does that thing where you only have part of your health you can't even heal your health anymore because you need to go rest 
the game needs to be modded to remove that garbage. Nobody wants that. That's annoying. You have to go rest just so you can have all your health. Like, your health bar continually depletes if you don't rest, but you can only camp at certain set points. Sounds stupid to me. I think we need to give up on this guy. This this thing gonna this isn't gonna work. I'm not gonna waste time trying to do this again, only to have it turn nighttime, and then the game shit itself again. Um, if I tell them go, will they know to run, or will they act like dumbasses and hang around and keep fighting? What is this thing? What is that thing? Oh well, somebody's helping us, and maybe we'll have a chance. Oh, no, not with the goblins. No, we, we can't do it with goblins. No. Not with uh, another series of goblins on top of us. We're just barely chipping away at his health. Last thing we need is a bunch of goblins to come in and be attacking us. I guess if we can quickly dispatch them, maybe there's a tiny chance we can do this. Seriously, this guy can block endlessly, but I lose stamina when I block? Cheating. That's kind of like when your weapon deflects off the wall in the Souls game, but the enemy's weapon doesn't when the game cheats. If my weapon bounces off the wall, the enemy's weapon should bounce off the wall just the same. Okay, that hit him, but it didn't appear to do enough damage to be worth it. Did they give us an explosive barrel? No explosive barrel. Maybe I should have been a magic user. Can I climb on him? Okay, can I climb up there and just start stabbing him? Will this do much damage though? It's not doing much. Is it? Let me climb up. Oh, nope, that didn't work. Okay, I'm just walking around like an idiot, staggering. Okay, here we go. Now we got him. Oh, Shadow the Colossus style. Hopefully the game doesn't shit itself and turn nighttime and have skeletons attack. Because that's nonsense. Come on, Dragon's Dogma. You're better than that. You're better than to cheat. <sighs> I tried, I'm trying to jump up on him, but it's hard. The game doesn't have... The control just isn't very good. The controls are not good enough for what they, for what you're expected to be able to do. That's that's an issue. It's a major issue. The no lock on. The shit controls that just feel super sloppy. Just god damn, the buttons just stop fucking working. It's like the controls shit themselves in key moments, which is a, a common issue in a lot of games. Come on. Oh, come on. Every time I get up there, I get knocked down, and then I wander around like a retard. <laughs> That's fun. That's fun. There's nothing more fun in a game when they take control away from the player, and you can't do anything. Oh, shit. I said I wasn't going to cuss in this stream, but here I am because it's shit. It's turning to shit. I've already played too much to refund it. It's turning to shit. Oh, come on. Don't 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 turn to shit. What's up with all the the reviewers giving this 8, 9s and 10s and it's like shit performance and the controls are as sloppy as ever. I expected better controls. This is the second game. It feels like the first game. The controls feel almost exactly like the first game. All the shittiness of the first game, no lock on, sloppy. How is it turning to night? How is it I can run all over the game world and it's not nighttime, but while I'm fighting him... Oh, it's nighttime now. 
You know what that sounds like to me? That sounds like bullshit to me. It sounds like we're going to artificially make the game harder by just progressing quickly to nighttime during the fight. All right, need more heals, lady. Keep the heals coming. I, I don't think we can do it. The problem with these big, long, drawn-out fights is if you do die, it's another big, long, drawn-out fight. I mean, you, you spend like 15, 20 minutes, and then a batch of skeletons wanders in and kills you, and then you got to go do another 15, 20 minutes to get back to where you were, and then a batch of goblins wanders in and kills you. Then it's time to do another 15 and 20 minutes. Yeah, I think we do know why it's getting high praise. One thing about Wokies is they love shit. Wokies love to take a shit, sniff it, and go, mmm, it's great. Wokies are the type that smell their own farts and love it. See this running away thing? No. Because, you know, the enemy will inevitably run away into a batch of enemies and then you're just you're effed you're screwed there's nothing you can do at that point you're dead because it's nearly impossible to kill this enemy as is so putting another batch of enemies on top of that and then look at how much damage he did he did nearly my entire bar of health that was pretty much my entire bar of health because i don't have all my health because you need to rest to get all your health back Unnecessarily complicating the game with bullshit. Oh, it's quickly becoming Dragon's bullshit, too. All right, come on, guys. Let's go. Stop fucking around. There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. Look at this guy. We can, I enjoy tackling fierce foes. Oh, what is she? Combat thrills to gathering items. Uh, a I'm fighter? And may act. She's level. Your party is full. Select a pawn to swap out. So she's a thief. Um, Samson's level four. I guess I can dismiss her, though that gives me one less. Um, select the items you wish to give as a gift. Why would I give her anything as a gift? I'm only glad to have proven my worth. She sounds hideous. Please dispense with she the sounds like a dude trying to sound like a woman. I heard about that probably run my word. Hey, everybody. I'm a woman. All right. They just, it just, they just make it seem like uh, all the women in the game have Down Syndrome. All right. Where can I set up camp? Because I only have, like, half of my health and some sort of weird debuff on it. Where's the camp at? Oh, and then I got the broken map. <laughs> bullshit. Dragons. Bullshit, too. Just as shitty as the original. Now with more shit and more wokeism. Okay. Uh, he, yeah, believe it or not, he has three health bars. The first health bar and then the next two dots. Wh where are the camps at? How do you tell where a camp is at? Do they not mark campsites? Oh, you got to zoom in, but I can't get... I can't get away from the fucking thing because it's broken. It's fucking broken. I can't even look. Here, let's try... Sorry, that was, uh, I was, in, <laughs> I was in the wrong thing. Let's try shutting down and restarting and see if that fixes this bullshit. We'll go back to title screen, but I doubt that'll work. We'll probably have to actually just close the whole game out. Dragon's bullshit, too. Okay, let's, uh, let's, let's rename the stream here. I've, uh, I've changed the stream title. You, sh you guys should be able to see it now. How about these pawns quit coming up to me and nagging the fuck out of me while I'm trying to play the game? Leave me the fuck alone while I'm trying. I can see you walking. If I want to talk to you, I'll talk to you. 
This fucking constant nagging. This is part of woke shit as well. Fuck off. Come on, help me. Fight him, guys. There. Won't have to get nagged by that piece of shit again. Fucker. <laughs> God, that is so fucking annoying while you're just trying to play the game and do your thing. It's like, hey, I like to fight, and I'm a good fighter, and I fight with skill, and I fight. I'm like, okay. Go the fuck away. Go, go fight something. Fuck off. I didn't talk to you. I don't want to talk to you. Every fucking pawn who talks to me while I'm trying to do something is going to get killed. Every one of them. Fuck that. Nope, we're still broke. It's borked. All right, we're going to just shut the whole uh, system down here. Save and continue. Save and return to title screen. And then exit, just in case. I don't want to lose any progress. Dragon's Shitma. Do you like bullshit? Then you'll love Dragon's Bullshit too. Shit performance. Terrible features. Poor controls. Bugs and glitches. It's so quiet now. It's quiet. Come on. And then every time it launches, it launches in a small window as if it's in windowed mode. It plays a bunch of the annoying ass splash screens, which I'm going to get rid of as soon as I figure out how. Then it goes to full screen. Why? Capcom. Why? 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 And then it says Dragon's Dogma at the title screen. Is it missing anything here? Is something missing? Is there anything missing from the title? Because I think there's something missing. I'm going to take a screenshot of this uh, bullshittery. Dragon's Dogma. Two! Capcom, you fucking idiots. Two! Two! You forgot the two! That's important! It's not Dragon's Dogma. It's Dragon's Dogma 2. Okay, let's, let's see if it changed any of our settings. Because um, some games will fuck your settings up anytime you relaunch. Just to be an asshole. I thought we had that on performance. Did it fuck it up? Did it fuck it up? I think it fucked it up. So far, that appears to be the only setting that shit itself between then and, then and now. I'm not sure that makes any difference right there, so. Okay. All right, here we go. Here's the test. Oh, my God, the map is working. Beautiful. It's, it's so exciting when it works. All right, so where's the campsite so I can get my fucking health back? Right there. All right, I like how the little campsite icons disappear until you zoom in at the proper zoom level. Let's go back to one of those, I guess. See, isn't this fun? Isn't it fun that you get to run all the way back to a campsite just to restore your fucking health and then run all the way back to where you were before? That's fun. Let's see. Um, am I over encumbered? How did I get fucking heavy again? Uh. Dragon Shitma 2. Whoops. I didn't mean to do that. Boy, they make this unnecessarily complicated. This, this feels like a console game all around. Obtuse menu controls.
Okay, at least you can push back to get them all. That'll keep because you can actually use that. And then uh, that we'll give to Samson for now. Okay. Ooh, my eyes itchy now. <sighs> you know, we're at the point now where for some developers, for the game to simply function properly is a surprise. But look at this shit performance. The rain is taking my frame rate to barely even passable. Dipping into the 50s. Absolute shit performance. Shit. It was okay. Now it's shit. Let's try seeing what V-Sync does, because we are dropping below 60. Um, if that makes it feel any better. And this is performance dynamic resolution mode. If I turn it to ultra performance, it looks like shit. It's like 720p. That'd be fine on a tiny little screen like the Steam Deck, which really isn't that small, but still. All right, how, how, how close am I to this? Ah, uh, oh, close. We're very close. Why am I ever surprised anymore? $70 for this shit fest. $70. So that uh, you can see the, the giant shit that Capcom took on your PC. All right, rest until morning. So while I'm fighting this troll, it damn well better not turn nighttime because otherwise that'll be pure 100% fuckery. It's like, oh, we're just going to make it nighttime while you're fighting just to make it harder, to, to just make it harder, to make it harder. All right, all right, bitch. You're dead, bitch. Every one of these fucking assholes who nags me gets the sword. And I love how they don't even fight back. Every one of them that nags the shit out of me while I'm trying to play the game dies. Yeah. I don't know about you, Master, but I'm worn out. Mightn't we have a rest before pressing on? You're worn out? Might we have a rest? We just camped. We just rested. It is about time we pressed on. We're all... Oh, no, he says we need to press on. She says she needs a rest after we wake up from resting, and he says we gotta keep going. What the fuck, Capcom? Your pawn needs a rest right after we rested. That's what makes this a triple A game, maybe even a quadruple A game. Oh, I like Fawn. Thanks for the advice, Fawn. Hey, did you know that you could collect items? You could gather items from the forest? Yes, I did. You know how I know that, Fawn? Because I've been doing it the whole fucking time I've been playing. Why would you tell me now that I can gather items when I've been gathering items the entire time for hours? The fuck? Hey, you can swing your sword by pressing the X button. Push the A button to jump. <laughs> Seriously. Holy shit, Capcom. Get your fucking shit together. This is drag this feels like Dragon's Dogma 2 a year later. This could literally be Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen Definitive Edition expansion. It feels almost identical. Graphically looks pretty similar. A high-res texture pack would make Dark Arisen look like this. How many years has it been since Dark Arisen? And this is the best they could come up with? A sequel that feels like it's running on the same engine? That feels like it could be the same game? This is the best they can do? 
Oh, so he grabbed the NPC. Okay, so if we don't save the NPC right away, then he dies. Well, we definitely don't want him to die because we want to save him so that he can fight with us, obviously. You know what? Maybe I need to climb up on him and then start stabbing him in the neck. This is just not a $70 game. This is like a $30 Dark Arisen expansion at best. Okay, I think I saved the uh, NPC, but now, come on, move, you fucking idiot. The, the amount of time you spend staggered after running out of stamina is so fucking boring. You're just sitting there with no control, bored out of your mind, waiting to get control of your character back. Not fun. That is not fun. You know, they need to stop doing this thing where you just lose control of your character for long periods of time in games. Don't do it. Any game. Ever. Ever. For any reason. I, I, I mean, I'm doing good damage, but I run out of stamina too fast. Well, now, I, now I'm all tired out, but I'm stuck on his back. <laughs> oh, come on. Fucking thing. I was up there. Here, let's just grab this treasure chest. Not a $70 game. Oh, grab him! Okay, there we go. Get him! W would somebody would somebody get the pawn? Somebody get the pawn. You see the pawn there. Resurrect him. Am I the only one that can do it? Bullshit. I had a good fight going up there. One of those assholes should have done it. Watch him walk away, and I won't be able to get... Get up there, idiot. See? This is what I mean while the controls suck ass. Sometimes they work... What the fuck? I was on them. What the fuck? Ugh. This game, man. I'm already over the two hours. I can't refund it. Get the, get the fuck out of the corner. I don't know if that hurt my pawns, but I don't give a shit at this point. Come on. There you go. There you go. There you go. All right, let's get away from when he does that. How about that? All right, here we go. Oh, no, I'm tired. I got to wait a couple seconds to get control of my... Get up. Get up. Oh, there we go. Fucker. What the... Get... Get... Uh, uh, what the fuck? How did I end up all the way down at his ass? How did I end up on his arm? Oh, oh, he can do that? Now I gotta move the camera just to see what the fuck's going on. Stab him in the in the neck. Get him in the neck. Oh, yeah. Slice his, slice his head off. Get him again. Get him again. Ugh. Ugh, it's, it's actually fun when it works. Shit's fun when it actually works. And when it doesn't shit itself. Get, oh, oh, wait, he went around the corner. He, is he gonna come back? Where'd he go? Oh, well, you know. I gotta come down here. Alright, we're gonna throw this rock at him. Oh! I actually did some good damage, I guess. Right? Yeah, I did. Alright, knock him down, knock him down, knock him down! Here we go. Uh, get, jump! Uh, grab onto him! There we go. Get him in the face! Get him! Get him! Yeah! <laughs> oh, come on! He's getting up already! We just started! I just started hitting him, and he's already getting up, and now I get, well, I, well, I went flying. All right, I'll revive him. All right, get up, dumbass. Oh, shit, I went for that. He got it. Oh, oh, he put it down. Oh, Samson, throw it at him, throw it at him, throw it at him. Nice job, Samson. Oh, I guess that increases the likelihood of knocking him down or, or staggering him or whatever, you know? All right, stab him. Stab him. All right, so far the game hasn't pulled this bullshit night mode. You're not going to buy it at all, Drunken Dwarf? I wouldn't blame you. Um, I'm past the point of no return with the sale, unfortunately. Uh, if I weren't past the two hours, I might literally consider returning at this point. Get, get, get on him. Get on him. What are you doing? Stab him. Stab him, you idiot. 
Stab! 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 Why are you so slow? Why are you so slow? Why are you so slow? Alright, everyone get in the heals area. Heal up if you need it, okay, dumbasses? Oh, I blocked that just in time. Oh no, okay. Whew. I thought I was gonna like fall. Yeah, um, stabbing his leg, you don't really do enough damage to make it worthwhile. You gotta get up higher. Like, you gotta climb. Oh no. Oh! <laughs> Kind of stupid, but I love it. It's fun when it works. It just, it's so wonky that that's like, it makes it exciting when it actually works because it doesn't work very often. Climb, 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 you idiot. There we go. It just takes so long to climb up him. And then by the time you get up there, he's ready to shake you off. It doesn't give you enough time. Okay, there we go. I'm off. I gotta get Samson. God, leave. Move, you idiot! You fucking moron! Move! God damn, it takes so long to get control of your character. It sucks. You're just sitting there. You're just like, uh, 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 and I'm like, move, you fucking moron! There's nothing fun about that, Capcom. Nothing fun about getting stuck there with your character just wandering around like he's retarded. Oh, not this grabby grab. Okay, we gotta, can I just stab him in the leg and knock him down that way? Will that knock him down if I stab him in the leg? Shit, I gotta go revive the one dude. Cause none of my other characters know how to revive anyone. All right, come on, cast the heal, cast the heal. There we go. We've almost got him, guys. We've almost got him. We've almost got him. Where'd he go? Oh, up there? Well, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. Yeah, um, I realize that lands next to Zach, um, Zach ass. Come on, go, 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 get up. Get up there. Go. Where am I? I can't see. Ouch. Did he? Oh, I thought he hit me. I think I can get a couple more off. Ooh. <laughs> Look like pilot wings. I was just falling like it's pilot wings. And I'm... Oh, my God. Parachuting. Down! He's down! <laughs> it's like fun in the same way Two Worlds 2 was fun. Because it's wonky as hell and broken and the controls suck ass. Hey, Dinostorm, how's it going? The controls suck ass. Come to think of it. Uh, like, you gotta get to the point where you just stop expecting it to be good. And you embrace you embrace the jank. This is fucking triple A jank. Triple A jank. How? I, I get the bugs and glitches. That's you expect that from these shitty triple A woke garbage companies. That's a that's just normal. When Bethesda comes out with a new game, we fix the hell out of it because they can't. Because their broken asses can't make a game that isn't broken as hell. We fix it. I used to do programming, but not anymore. The, the most recent thing I did was a little Python work, but it's been a while. Hey, Fawn, can you give us some heals? Yeah, yeah, can you heal? Can you heal us? I seem all right to you. Well, Samson and CL aren't. Heal them! Oh, there's a camp right there. Okay. My, my bad, Fawn. I retract that yelling, but not the previous yelling. All the previous yelling still applied.
This game would feel so different if I bought it for 30 bucks and it was from some like lesser or unknown uh, uh, development studio. Never rest until nighttime unless you just want to die all the time to everything. Our adventure continues. Off we go then. Oh, so now the wolves attack during the day too? All right. No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early griffin gets the worm, as they say. Okay, once you knock them down, boom. They're, it's like, that's it. They're pretty much dead once you take them down to the ground. If you don't get attacked by six others who stagger the hell out of you. Oh, now we're going to walk around staggered like a like a, a dumbass. Oh, I'm getting dragged by the wolf. Oh, they're chewing the hell out of me. They're chewing. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm dying. Oh, somebody help me. <laughs> oh, I'm still staggered. I still had that stagger from last time. They chewed the shit out of me. Did you see that? I got my ass chewed. Literally. I never played green. Oh, no. They're doing it again. They're doing it again. Stop them. Oh, my God. He's, oh, where are we going? Where are we going? How do I fight? Can I, oh, it's, oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> I never played Greedfall. I've heard of it, though. Uh, should I give it a chance? All right, where's the other one? All right, is that it? They chewed the shit out of me. I always start these streams with the intent to make them, you know, fully monetized and not cuss like crazy, and it just goes downhill from there. It just goes downhill from there. We never quite make it, do we? I like trading off, like hitting one, then the other with uh, this charge attack. Hey. All right, watch this. Boom! It does massive damage if they're down on the ground, which makes sense. It's like almost a one shot, or it is a one shot on a lot of these guys. Can you loot? Yeah, sometimes you can loot before the fight's over. Sometimes it seems like you can't. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Me, caught unawares. I would never be so careless. Woo! Uh, camera needs work. The camera goes all over the place. This looks like goblins made it, so we're just gonna destroy it. Anytime now. Oh yes, there we go. Whew. Okay, that second jump was not me. I only pushed the jump button once. You know, I'm going to say there's a lot of fun to be had here as long as you can embrace the jank. But honestly, a triple slash quadruple A, really this is, I think I would call this a triple A because it doesn't have like the massively over budgeted cutscenes with, uh, with celebrities you don't give a shit about. Okay. Um, let's see what we got going on here. Should we fight these things or will they beat the shit out of us? We want to kill these things. That way the Native Americans have nothing to eat. Oh, never mind. Oh, no. They're like deer. They're pretty much the strength of a deer. They don't even resist. Disappointing, honestly. Oh, I'm too tired now. 
Yeah, the patch for this game will probably be like 20 gigs. It'll be like half the size of the game itself. People were saying the game was going to be 100 gigabytes. Um, it was uh, just under 60 gig download for me, which I knocked out no problem. My, my download speeds hit about 40 megabytes a second. I can download stuff uh, at warp speed. When Trump talked about Operation Warp Speed, he wasn't talking about the vax -een. He was talking about my uh, internet speed on my computer. Yeah. Oh, now he's running? Oh, fucker. He's like the only one that tried to run away. And he did a pretty good job of it, too, man. He made us chase them all over the place. I'm going to let them run after the goblins. I'm going to go make sure we got everything from these uh, buffalo. Where are the buffalo at? I just fought, like, six of them. And I don't... S okay, they're there. For all the running around and walking you do, this game could really use more stamina for it. I feel like I have no stamina for running. Bam. Scrag of Beast. Okay, let's do this. I need to get rid of some of this junk. Give it to Samson. The meat is heavy around here. Meat has weight. Meat has weight. Whoops, I didn't know you could use that. I don't know what it did. Maybe heal me or something? I, gu I guess it didn't remember when I gave it to him on the last play or the last save because uh, I died. I died and it forgot. All right, we'll see you later, Drunken Dwarf. Thanks for joining me. I I'm coming towards the end of it anyway, so uh, it's a good time for you to leave. I'm about to, to cut it. I just want to get to the next... Uh, campsite yeah we fought the big troll dude I don't know if this game has like official bosses or if they're just all like that guy you know in, in the game in the general world I need to get to an inn so that I can rest but here's my concern do I have to just run all the way back like is that my only option because I'm going to encounter a whole bunch of fights along the way and I'll be honest, but that seems really boring. Like, to take that long. Like, is it going to take me 20? Counting the, the battling, we're looking at, what, 30 minutes to get back? Unless I try to skip every fight. Which, will my pawns skip it with me and keep running? Or will they stay and fight? And then, won't it turn dark? Won't it turn night before I get there? So then, every battle will kill me? Let's see what's in here. Lantern oil. And a simple healing potion. Very exciting. Very exciting. Glad I glad I found it. Some things you can break and some you can't. Okay. Let's use that. Now we can carry more weight. But no matter how much weight we can carry, it's never enough. You know what I mean? I enjoy tackling fierce well, foes. gotta kill him too, because every time one of these assholes interrupts us, they get the sword. Get lost, asshat. Our traits mesh well together. <laughs> I just murder this guy, and she's like, "Yes, we we really get along great." Well, now we know we got a serial killer in our party. Well, this is starting to look like it might be a town of some sort or something around there, right? Right there, maybe. I don't see any people, but they just probably haven't loaded in yet. You know what I mean? Let's go to that bridge there and go across. This is probably the type of game where. Uh, you don't get uh, long draw distances because, hell, you can barely handle short draw distances. And, and why the character does everything in his power to belly flop every time you jump off a high platform, I, I don't know. That's, that's really stupid. 
why would you belly flop off of the side of a mountain onto rocks below? Does that seem like a good idea? I mean, yeah, you might break your legs, but would you rather break your legs or split your torso open? <clears throat> would maybe one of those be preferable? I think you could survive the broken legs. Can I... Let me try something. No. I thought that might actually work. Excellent. Just what I was looking for. I'm trying to hit this barrel. Oh, that's not a barrel you can break. The other barrels are breakable, but not that one. Not that barrel. <sighs> Why? Oh, but not this barrel. That barrel can't be broken. So some barrels can, and some barrels can't. I heard a rumor that this what, come on? Why did I just pick her up? She liked it. All right. Uh, I'm trying to find a good spot to save, and then we'll call it there. Um, obviously, I'd like a campsite. There should be a, a campsite around here somewhere, right? Nice. It's like, hey, if the monsters attack, just run. Run. Not a bad move, I guess. I guess that makes sense. I mean, if you're not a fighter, you don't want to stay and fight and risk death. Oh, okay, so I need to push the button to continue this conversation. Okay. Watching the gates of Burnworth, capital of Burn. If you've an entry permit, an invitation. Or proof of citizenship. Nothing to show. Go on then. What do you think you're doing? Troops? Oh. I shall conduct the interrogation myself. Hmm. Stand watch outside. Well, it's a good it's a good thing that taking me into custody didn't require removing my weapons. I beg you. I straight up have my sword on me. If the Queen Regent had learned of your existence. I had no choice but to treat you as a pretender, lest my actions draw suspicion from watchful eyes. Oh, so I did the right thing. Then you have truly you. Some days passed. You confronted. I can't skip yet. all this all the way Not through. Vernworth Palace. A few months prior. Your arrival. Yep, that's what happened. The Everyone catch that. Of this. These following that, however, I shall devise some plan. My character looks so stupid. I realize that. But as soon as I'm able, I will change him. I promise this you. One's clear of all suspicion and has my permission to... All right. Well, that actually worked. I did not expect it to work. And I'll be honest with you. I thought there were going to be some serious ramifications for me trying to run inside. May I also ask why the frame rate in here is shittier than out in the, the open world? I'm literally below 60, dropping into the 40s in this small room. What the fuck, Capcom? What the fuck? I would kill that little douche nozzle, but he got away, and then we're in town, too. Oh, is, he, is this fucker going to talk to me, too? Yeah, go. Get lost, man. Leave me, leave me alone. I'm just trying to walk. Somewhere. 48 frames per second. Look at this. Look how fucking slow this is and stuttery. You suck ass, Capcom. You suck ass. So where 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 do I go to, to like go to the inn? Where's the inn? The Rose Chateau Bordelerie. I don't speak French. Is that the inn? Is that the inn? Is that the oh star drop in, okay. So whoops. Go this way. Here, if you please. Oh my God! It turns to a fr it turns to a fucking slideshow at times. This is shitty. Oh my goodness, that's terrible. And what? Welcome to the Star Drop. It we serve all manner of fine ales mm. here. Shall I pour? How extraordinary. No! I, it's a fucking inn. I thought that was the rest option. I didn't look very closely. So I just wasted 2,000 gold. 
buying drinks. I want to stay at the fucking inn, not buy drinks. How do I stay at the inn? An inn is where you stay. A pub is where you drink. Some inns have pubs. Is this the only inn that has no inn? There's no inn at the inn. Welcome to the we serve all manner of fine ales here. Shall I pour you a cup to start? Where do you stay at the fucking inn? It's not an inn if you can't stay. Why is this game such shit? Why is the frame rate shit? Why am I seeing 30? 30! The fuck, Capcom? Oh my god, it's shit. Well, where the fuck do I stay if the inn isn't an inn? Capcom doesn't know what a fucking inn is. An inn is a place where you stay, and some of them have pubs attached. That's an inn with no inn. It's a pub. It's not an inn. Clovis's Barbary. Oh, you know what? I bet you I can change what I look like there. So, a tavern, that a tavern would have drinks, but nowhere to rest necessarily. Is the tavern the inn and the inn is the pub? Is that how this works? And can we please make the the icon for the player not be this vaguely white arrow that blends in to the pathways? Could it not be yellow or red so it stands out? You can fast travel. But not if it's the only one you have. Oh, well. Well, at least when we encounter the next one, we can fast travel. Yeah, this uh, this performance is pure shit. Welcome, good sir. Should you so desire, I can help you find your truest... Oh, come on, Capcom. You fucked it up, and I have to pay 10,000 gold to fix it? No, I have to pay 25,000 gold... Because Capcom's character creator is shit and gave me fucking female voice with a male body and I didn't think to double check that they wouldn't put that woke trash in the fucking game. No normal sane person wants a female voice with a male body. That's an insane lunatic thing. To see you again. Why do I have to pay 25,000 gold to fix Capcom's shit? Yeah, they're the best character creator ever. All the characters are fucking butt-ass ugly. They're absolutely fucking ugly, and you got to spend an hour of your day just trying to make them not ugly. It takes like an hour to de-uglify one of the characters. Where, where am I? Okay, there I am. It takes me forever to find that bullshit-ass icon. All right, I guess we'll go to the tavern in the hopes that the tavern is an inn. Because the inn sure as hell ain't an inn. Go get the fuck out of the map. Why does it back out to a, a bigger picture of the map? I guess I gotta hit the select button twice. All right. Where where is that taking me? Uh, how do I get to the tavern? It's outside the walls. I gotta exit the walls and then go around. To the slums? Is it in the Noble Quarter? Does this place not have an inn? It has a fake inn, an inn that's not an inn. We'll try the tavern. I guess I gotta leave through the front gate. God damn that fucking back option. Oh no, there's a fucking bridge. I gotta go around. Oh, whoops. I didn't even mean to do that. My character just did that automatically. I didn't hit jump. Oh my god, I'm heavy already. I got rid of all my shit. 
how many times must I? Oh, I can't even give them this shit now. Why not? Because they're, they're not close enough. Can I give it to him now? I'd, oh my god. Holy fuck. That's another thing that needs to be modded. You need to be able to trade with your characters even if they're not close to you. We gotta fix this game. We need to fix Capcom's broken ass shit. My basic gear is so fucking heavy, I can barely carry anything else without going overweight. So you spend all this wasted ass time inventory management. Taverns are fantasy. Where's the hostel? This game is hostile. Here, let me jump right through his straw roof. <laughs> oh, okay, you just slide down it. Do the slums have an inn? No. Well, I'll talk to him anyway. I assume you'll be starting off with a mug of the good stuff. Why? Why do you? Why would you spend two thousand gold just to see a, a ten-second cutscene of people standing around drinking? Why would you do that? I don't understand. What would be the point of doing that? Can I fast travel? No. This game, it gets shittier. It gets shittier. I have to do a semi-review on my YouTube channel and shit all over this game. Because we got all these asshats out here. Ten out of ten, best game ever! It just really shows how you cannot trust these asshats. And people wonder why I use the term anti-gamer propagandists. They're not gamers. They don't like playing games. They're fucking propagandists. They're radical left-wing douchebags pushing propaganda. And if they see the propaganda, they give it the thumbs up. And if they don't see the propaganda, they give it the thumbs down. It doesn't matter whether it's a good game, a bad game, a graphically intense game, a shit game... Yes, I'm definitely demonetized now. Look at this. It's a fucking slideshow. 33 frames a second with performance resolution mode. Let's turn that off. Maybe that's fucking shit up. Maybe that is the problem. Maybe they don't know how that's supposed to work. No, we're still dropping 30s, 40s, 50 at best. It's shit. It's shit, it's shit. I don't know what any of that shit is. You didn't do business with me. We didn't sell or buy anything together. You didn't do business. Don't say your stock phrase. That we, did, we didn't do business. Come on, Capcom. Why is he saying we did business when we didn't? Where's the fucking inn? Why is there no inn at this major city? What the fuck, man? What the fuck, Capcom? Oh, Shakir's inn? Where the fuck was that on the map? Oh, right there. Okay. Seems familiar. Talk, talk to what the fuck? Talk to him. God damn. Trust you. There's trade to be had in times both fair and fell. Wow, I'm glad I hit the talk option. That talk option has been a hundred percent useless. They say the most useless dumb shit when you select it. It shouldn't even be there. Organized storage. Deposit. I guess we should deposit 
all the shit we don't need because it just costs – it's just so much. Um, let's see. You know what? We'll just deposit all this shit for now and, you know, I guess if I need more than five, I'm probably dead at that point. Hmm. All right, let's do All right. Uh let's deposit a few more. Consume me that restores stamina but inflicts a blight? Who the fuck would want to do that? You would never want to do that. That's stupid. Wake stone shard. Three shards combined to form a wake stone. Well, that's cool. How do I make my weapons stronger? There's all this stuff to enhance my weapons, but I can't find anywhere to enhance a weapon. Oh, I'm back on me again. Okay. Oh, you can only go one direction with this. You can't go... <laughs> okay, that's weird, but whatever. I guess we're good at this point. Okay. Now we need to combine. They need to get rid of carry weight and gains, or at least allow you to have an option to turn it on or off. You know, I, I carry weight is... You better have a damn good reason. Like, a survival-type game, or, you know. I understand having equipment burden. Because you probably don't want them being able to wear the heaviest armor in the world with, with no repercussions. You know? What am I making here? Just this parching cure, the drenched debilitation? <laughs> I don't know what that is, but, yeah, there we go. All right. I can rest here for 2,000, but th w will that allow me to level up? Rest is an important duty in its own right. Or did I just waste 2,000 gold when I could have gone to any campsite? Come on, Capcom. Don't, don't, don't fail me now. You failed all up until now. Your pawn has returned from beyond the rift. Who? Who is this? What pawn? Travel log. Okay. Whatever. Oh, wow. Thanks. You you collected a lot of good stuff there. I'm amazed. I can't... You, you got all that stuff? Set a new pawn quest? Yeah, sure. Why not? Um, earn a pawn badge? Who, who gives a shit about pawn badges? Why would I give a shit about pawn badges? I hope you slept well. Nothing to report, I'm afraid. So that was it? So that 2,000 gold was wasted? Oh my god, I'm heavy again! What the fuck? I'm heavy again! You know what? We don't have anyone that can use arrows, so we'll just sell those. I don't, I don't know. Whatever. I'm still fucking heavy. How, how, what do I do with all the levels I've gained? Where do I go to level up? Or to get new skills or whatever. Bunch of flowers. I thought it said something about resting at well, inns. Rest. To level up or to, to use your abilities or long journey when treated too much Okay, so that was useless. The whole search for the inn was uh was bullshit. Do I go to the guild? 
Vernworth Vocation Guild. God damn it. That fucking B button in this. What it, what is it what does it do to hit the B button in the map? It just backs out? Okay. So I need to It's it's right around here somewhere, but it's confusing as hell. It's right here? Is that it? I just right here? Boom. Okay. Please tell me this is where I can level up. We conduct all manner of procedures pertaining to vocations. If there is aught I may assist you Looks like it. Found any of the item Received a fairy stone. What does that do? Oh, port crystal. But don't we need a port crystal as well? It is the fairy stone a one-time use. Hmm. Forgive me. But I'm afraid we see as we currently and we cannot simply purchase more. So regrettably Wait, I cannot assist you. Let me see. What else? I, I don't know what he just said. I wasn't paying attention. Let's look at this again. Oh, look at that. So we can switch it up to warrior. I think that's what I'm going to switch to um, after acquire 150 DCP. I have 3,803. How come I can't do it? Rank four. Why can't I? Why can't I do it? What's what's stopping me from doing it? What? Okay, which which am I on? Okay. Acquire 150 DCP. So 3,803 doesn't count. Why do, why wouldn't that count? Do you think if I keep hitting it, it'll work? Why can't she level up? Uh, let's see. Strikes the enemy from above with tongues of lightning. High flagration. So do they each have a... Yes, we each have a separate amount of DCP. Okay. Uh, conjures a cluster of magical energy that blocks up to three attacks from targets. The cluster will also dissipate after a time. Sure, why not? And then... I mean, it's my pawn. I'm not controlling my pawn. It doesn't matter where the skills are on that thing. I'm not controlling it. Orb of holy light that deals immediate damage to nearby targets in all directions. The light remains for some time even after the attack concludes. And then we're going to do one more here. How about... Should we do lightning, ice... Hmm. Hastens the speed. You know what? I think that might help. Core skills. Focus bolt. Fires a condensed magical burst that differs based on active enchantment. Hold X, then release. Greatly hastens incantation speed. Consumes stamina while active. Hold RB while encanting the spell. Hmm. Will she use it, though? That's the question. Let's see. Can I now become the sorcerer? Nope. Augments. Augments your magic defense. Increases the amount of health recovered by curatives and curative magics. Hell yeah. All righty. Apotropism. Is that a real word? I don't think that's a real word. All right. So I'm going to get some... Uh, let me look at core skills first. Uh, let's see. Deflex attacks back toward the target with impressive might. Press RB the instant before the enemy's attack makes contact. We got the parry! Okay, traces a grand skyward arc with the blade. Hold X, then release. Uses the shield to ease the impact from falling. Eh. Enchanted counter. When using defend while enchanted, guard with RB while enchanted. Well, when am I enchanted? I don't know when I'm going to be enchanted, so that seems, uh, nah. Oh, yeah. Augments my physical defense? Hell yeah. Increases the likelihood of being attacked by foes. I don't think so. I, I get the idea behind it, but uh, I'm going to go with no. 
Perform a jump while slashing diagonally upward. An effective means... Perform a jump while slashing diagonally upward. Hmm. Spin with blade extended, drawing a deadly circle that slices nearby targets. Yes. Let's put that one on A. Uh, gouging, thrust the blade into the target's body before raining further blows upon them. Strikes connect the user clings to larger targets and pins down smaller targets that are flinching. Shield bash. That looks like a good one. We'll put that one on B because that just feels like the right decision. Shield summons. Wraps the shield loudly to attract the attention. Launch allies into the air using the shield. Spins nibbly, nimbly on the spot, blocking attacks from every direction with the shield. Seems like a cool thing, but I want another attack, so we'll go with the... Mm, gouging Skewer. All right, can I now switch over to Warrior? No. All right, so what else? Can I get another core skill? Traces a grand skyward arc with the blade, sending light white targets flying into the air. Oh, I already have that one. Hell, I'll take it. Whatever. All right. Hey, I could be enchanted. You never know when you're going to be enchanted, right? Let's see. The controls are a little wonky to get used to here. I really want to be that. Why can't I be that right now? Hmm. Change vocation. Wait a minute. That brings you to the same menu. They're the same menu. It's a trick. I've already given Certain all of them. Vocation. Let me see. What else can I tell you of our guild? Methinks Roderick will be able to. He runs the local armory. Make so here's some sort of quest about stolen guild sir. stuff. Obtain an arch staff and great sword. Oh, I need a great sword, huh? Well, let's maybe we should go do that and then come back, while the frame rate's still shit. Okay. Uh, where is a blacksmith? Slash. Oh, oh, there we go. I wish you could put like a thingy on it so you can see where you're going. I, I literally, I'm looking right now. There, okay, there's my icon. So I need to go this way through here. Oh, look, there's a, there's a shortcut. Hey, there's a shortcut. Get out of my way, old lady. Get out of my way, you old hag. Hello, I'm looking for a grey sword. Oh, I'm, um, well, can I talk to you from the backside? Oh, hey, look, you're, you're behind me, and I'm not even going to comment on it. It's just kind of weird you're in my shop, and I didn't invite you in here. But, you know, whatever, I'll, you know, that's fine. You could have stabbed me in the back, too. Yeah, I thought about it, bro. Trust me, I thought about it. I gave a lot of thought about stabbing you in the back. Not really. Uh, so, you don't sell weapons? Well, now I know where to enhance weapons. Many thanks. I appreciate the business. Yeah, I'm sure you do. Shut up. So where do I go for my sword? This lady here? Is sh no, she's just looking at shit. Oh, this guy. Well, hello there. Fair warning. What happened to your face, man? Are, have you been fighting? Did somebody cut your face? Oh, my gosh. Hey, if you guys haven't already, make sure to hit like on the stream. It helps me out a lot. I'm going to buy a great sword. I, I can't, can I? I need an arch staff and a great sword, and you don't sell either? What a piece of sh crap. Hmm. 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 This sucks. So how long will it be before I can get to this great sword? Should I buy... A better regular sword in the meantime? Yes. Maybe I'll regret that, but whatever. All right, let's enhance it too. Enhance the broadsword. Wait, just like that? Is there just only one way to do it? <laughs> it was just like, that's the way you do it. I'm taking the items that, okay. 
I thought maybe there would be some like certain special path of enhancement I would choose or use certain items on it. You know what I mean? Feather Light Pelta. Yes, and then we'll enhance that too if we can. Does it tell me what? It... So what required materials held needed? So what are the required materials? I have them? What are they? It doesn't tell me. Whatever. Okay, whatever the required items are, I have them, I guess. Oh, now it's going to give me what they are? Oh, so the first enhancement requires no items. Silver ore and copper ore. So now we need slate colored horn, whatever the heck that is. All right, let's uh, sell the items we don't need now, which is my trusty sword. Kind of hurts to sell it. I was just so, you know, it's just so exciting to have that sword for the length of time that I had it. Oh, now I'm heavy. Maybe I'm just always going to be heavy. You know what I mean? Welcome to Bjorn's, and quality is what you need. Bjorn. You survive. So let's see if I can buy better armor that's that's uh, lighter than what I have. Oh boy, this is getting expensive. The hunter's mail is better. And what's the weight on it? See, it doesn't compare the weight to what I have now. That sucks. So I can't afford those. Uh, obviously, I want to get ones I can afford. Plate armor is 397. Obviously, it's got to be more than what I have now, right? And how do you compare to... Well, it shows me how much heavier it would be to have it. But is that just in my inventory or equipped? Hmm. 207. 229, and it weighs a little more. 241, and it weighs a bit more. Hunter's Mail is more, but weighs not, not as much as the other ones. I think I'll go with the plate armor, because it looks cool as well. And then I'm going to sell that. Just remember. And then I'm going to enhance it. Can I do the second enhancement? No. Let's see what I can do for leggings. Probably nothing at this. Whoa, the leggings are not, those aren't too expensive, but they're, uh, they're less than what I have. To get better than what I have costs more. What about a helmet? Oh, boy. Can't even get a helmet. Oh, hard leather helm. I'm already very heavy. I can almost afford the hard leather helm. Maybe if I sell the, uh, the helmet I have now, I could afford it. Lower knockdown resistance. Does die early. What if I sell the helmet I have on me right now? Yes. Many thanks. I you know what? Hmm. Should I? Maybe I should just hold off. So I have. Why can't I equip that? Furred Greaves. What's wrong with equipping that? For some reason, I cannot equip it. One eighty four, seventeen. Let's see. Maybe, maybe we'll just do that. Welcome to Bjorn's. Maybe we'll just take our chances, and I'll forever be heavy, over encumbered. Price, just remember. And then we'll buy the hard leather helm. Misers don't. All right, that's one level. <clears throat> oh, we have enough. Just we need to sell some crap first. Okay, let's let's see if we can sell some junk. Three hundred gold. 
when offered as a gift, it deepens the bond between giver and receiver. Huh. I guess I should use that for something else, shouldn't I? Screw it. I'm selling that. That's a one-time use item anyway. I can live without it. Nice. Could I upgrade it again? I could upgrade it again for 472, so I need to sell some more junk. All right, let's see what we can sell here. How much are those worth? Hmm. How many of these parching concoctions do I really need? Aha, there we go. Fully upgraded piece of armor. Nice. Not bad, not bad. to see you again. Yeah, this game's involved. I'm going to see how it works on my Steam Deck. Uh, hopefully it carries over the save file, because that would be a pain in the ass if it didn't have to ma Are you kidding me? I can't equip it? Why can't I... Oh, you bastard. You son of a bitch. What an asshole. Uh, well, at least CL can equip it. Can I equip what she was wearing? I gotta give it to me. What? What a what a douche nozzle. Well, at least it lowered my weight. If nothing else. Hard leather helm. Oh, that's what she already had. Well, that sucks. Welcome to pure quality. Is what you need if you want to survive. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Okay. Wait, what did, what did she take off? She didn't take anything off? I can't so sell it? Price, hope to see That's again. a bummer. All right, here's what we'll do. We'll equip all the best for her, because I think, yeah, that's better. Oh, so, okay, I, okay, you don't get the, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's try selling some other, whoops, poor guy. I like how he doesn't even respond. He's like, oh, you're jumping on my counter. Oh, well, whatever. I've seen a lot of weird stuff in my day. Okay, anything else I can sell here? To cure the sleep debilitation. When am I going to use that? Uh, I do feel like I should probably keep the heels for the moment anyway. Uh, she didn't have much of anything. Neither does I, I gave them a whole bunch of shit. Oh, but you know what? It's all in the uh, It's all in the storage. I'm never going to drink something that prevents the likelihood of being inflicted with a debilitation. I'm only going to drink something that reduces it or that eliminates the, inf the infliction, cures it. Okay. Why does it show the improvement to me if I can't wear it? So how do you know what you can and can't use? Where's the indicator? Oh, the big giant box with a red line through it that I'm not looking at because I'm not paying attention. <sighs> well, to get the soldier's helm, I'm going to need 2250, more than twice what I have. I don't think I have enough crap to sell. Just die early deaths. Many thanks. I appreciate it. All right. It. Well, whatever. At least CL has a really good helmet now. Oh, there's there's everyone. They're just coming to join me now. All right. Well, you know what? I think we'll call it there, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. We've hit uh, a nice, solid three-hour stream. Wow, that was longer than I expected, that's for sure. Thanks so much for joining me. I do appreciate each and every one of you that did show up. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the like. And, of course, you can leave a comment uh, when this goes live as a DVR. I think they call it DVRs and whatnot. Uh, I think we're going to go ahead and quit out, and I'm going to eat some lunch. Maybe make some more coffee. I don't know. It's kind of late for coffee, but we'll see. Thanks again, guys. Everyone, do appreciate it. I do notice when you, when you guys show up. I do see every comment and all those, and I notice the likes. Thanks again, and I will see you all next time. I'll leave some links in the description for you. Bye-bye, everyone. And remember, stay real, keep playing, and never go woke. <laughs>